podcast again uh, because it's like an ego thing. Or you, you know, this person already a podcast. Has He's now Simply me calling it a podcast on my hater stream. For it. Probably give him like a fucking so half shove or some shit. Last yeah. It's weird I thought Tevin's respecting my content. Yes. I'm not going to say but that. A podcast. Really person who clocks in and out at a job. And so they're not working right now. That's why my night streams have never been affected by this person once. It's only been day streams. And it's only been certain times. Like the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, he tried to mess with my internet. Not on Thanksgiving or on Black Friday. Oh, by the way, uh, on oh, yeah. Kiwi Farms, The level one pre-stream yeah. man edition. Um, admits that he had nothing to do with uh, the side scrollers interview. He didn't turn off his internet then. Uh, but he said, I think since October or something, he's been messing with him. How long do you think you're gonna actually take? To... Oh, sh why did I think he has 70 something likes? Oh. <laughs> he got 49. I thought he had way more. Nothing he could do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This shit was today, bro. Today. Because of all the stress, I feel like crap. Just woke up feeling almost beat up. International audience. English is my fourth language. I don't know what that mean. Feel? Huh? You feel almost beat up? How you feel almost beat up? You know, almost beat up mean that you ain't even get hit, right? <laughs> this is the dumbest shit I've seen him type out in a long time. Almost beat up. how this has stressed him out so much but literally every other major inconvenience he's ever had didn't Trust at this point. 
Oh shit. Another time warp. I was told to play this a DSP AI thing that's being worked on behind the scenes by top geniuses. You sound like he on um You sound like he on Helium. Yeah, DSP wish he sounded like that. This tale don't wait for no one else. Yes, man has his day. That day is dead and gone. If you didn't know who DSP was, who would you think this was, though? It's my question. The young man left to meet his maker. Cries out, no to say. Justice. We're breaking the Oh yeah. I wanted to play uh this this hot song for his it's beginning. It's time to talk about a man. A man a man with an man ass. With yes. oh, yes. Philip Burnell is a man. Philip Burnell is a man. Philip Burnell is a man with an ass. Yeah. Philip Burnell is a man. Philip Burnell is a man. Philip Burnell is a man who had a burst of May 1st. Why? Because he had a thirst. He stroked his dong until it burst. The camera was oh, on. Shit, the dislikes thing stopped working so again. Saw no, I should maybe refresh. Behind. Oh, yeah. Philip Burnell is a man. Philip Burnell is a man. Philip Burnell is a man with an ass. Support his family. Philip Burnell is a man. Philip Burnell is a man. Philip Burnell is a man. Please tip him for those groceries. Philip Burnell, he thinks you want to know about his day off, but you really don't. Good but morning, he's Phil. He gets a thrill at a stroke. Welcome to the level one. Wait. Okay, first of all, amazing chroma key day. This thing looks like it's not even real. The clothes he's wearing, it looks like it ain't even real already. So that's, that's fun. Second of all, it's snowing like a motherfucker. We festive as heck. Podcast. Oh boy. You like the side? Attention. The level one podcast. I have an announcement. Welcome to my final consecutive streaming day for this week. Already. It is Wednesday, the 29th of November, 2023. And I certainly hope <clears throat> that you're having a good day. Oh, God. And that you are that having too loud. a nice normal time i don't know what that mean all right certainly this week has been quite the opposite for me for my streams um and everything going on around here and you guys know i am not one for drama i try to stay out of it um i certainly did not expect this week to go the way that it did Nor yeah that throw clear was way too much that shit like broke obs that it would go the way that it did that i was gonna have to have a day like yesterday um <clears throat> man but here we are and even today you and know, thank after you for the 100 bits like perhaps, it not. interesting you know, how this has stressed him out so much but literally every other major inconvenience he's had and then didn't on top of that, <laughs> you know what that's a good point way. and then oh man basically this morning every time anything happened he's do doing fine he tell us he's doing fine and then right after he tell us he wasn't doing so, fine first of all and then before the next thing the like i don't know late. if you hear the landscapers outside <laughs> landscapers thing, i have the window closed but they'll you know it's loud anyway, you know it's loud um <clears throat> so dsp like i know you think start my stream 10 45 a.m it's 1 38 p.m like today. you know right <laughs> so i wonder you know what the hell happened why is phil so late Fuck. Uh, like real life you know, got this, ambient noise. This kind of stress. Phil, I can't pay attention to you. The landscapers are outside and they're so loud. Is to pull through it. I agree, Cat. 
force my way through this. Smart, it louder than the landscaper. It's going to work. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> you don't control all the factors God of damn. your life, sadly. I wish I did. I wish I had complete and utter control over every piece of my life and my, my body and everything. Up here, this, you know, the fit. Mentally, that's going Hold to up. work. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> you don't control. Actual psychopath. All the factors of your life. It's like an X-Men villain. I wish I had control over everything around me. Sadly, I wish I did. I wish I had complete and. Look at what he do, by the way. Control over every. I wish I had every. I life. wish I had control over every piece of my life. Every piece of my life. That could mean a lot of things. In my, my body. My body. Everything. Look. Everything. Look. Up here. Mentally. I wish I had control over myself mentally. I wish I had control over my own dick. I wish I could control my dick. Sadly, I cannot control my dick. This, you know, I wish I could control my boobs. The physical, the mental, I don't. And so now, DS, now DSP can't control his, his mind. He can't control how he feels, his mental, his emotions, if you will. Now he can't control it. When did that happen? Of your life, sadly. I wish I did. I wish I had complete and utter control oh, man. over He's every piece shit, of my bro. life and my, my body and everything. Shit. Up here, this, you know, the physical, the mental, wow. I don't. And wow. basically, wow. you know, with everything going on, um, it really has. I'm Worn giving you down. zero dollars uh, over the last, you know, you know, you could say it's been going on for years, but particularly this last month. <laughs> Right. Um, <clears throat> and Just in case you didn't remember, forgot, didn't know, or anything close. Well adjusted. And wait, wait, wait. Because I'm well adjusted, and I'm a good person, and I feel that ultimately I'm happy. I should make the volume higher for that whole clip, because the I'm happy part's pretty meaningful. You know how disgusting that sounds. You're milking a human. You're milking a human. You're milking a human. Why is the chat silent? Hello? 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 And then this week, Hello? Hello? You, know, you could say it's been Anyone going there? on for years, Anyone but there? particularly this last month. <laughs> right? Um, <clears throat> and oh then this God. week, particularly, obviously not being able to stream normally. And by the way, there's no guarantee that it's over. Like, oh. I have absolutely no... Doc Ock might come back. Updates information coming back. insurance right now from my ISP Comcast. Uh, it's coming back. Has happened and taken place to prevent further malicious activity against me or my account. Um, for if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's coming back. Yesterday I put out a whole series of videos on this. The first video was about 50 minutes long and it covered the entire story of how in the last uh, year, if not longer, it could have been much longer than that. And in fact, I suspect it has. <clears throat> That there is a malicious employee working at Comcast who doesn't like me. That's my ISP, Comcast, and has been resetting my modem, changing the settings in my modem during streams and, and events, um, and now accessing my private information, making payments in my name, which is fraud and identity theft, and in general, just doing whatever they can to make my life miserable, even though it's completely illegal. <laughs> okay? So now there's concrete evidence of this and all of that. Um, but I had to talk about it publicly yesterday. Why? Because I had gone to Comcast twice, once a month ago and once on Monday, and they weren't helping me at all. They were kind of treating it like it was no big deal. They were filing logs and tickets, but no one was touching the situation and fixing it. Okay? <clears throat> so yesterday, uh, I did this, um, you know, this thing. I did this, this, this stream or whatever. And, <clears throat> you know, in a situation where... Uh, I felt powerless. You know, right according now, to Mimology know, on Twitter, it's right damn, now, well, not impossible, but according to him, they won't find the dude, actually. It's too many, like, loops they will have to go through. But the chat I don't think they're going to find him. But at the same time, I think they will. Wireless device that they gave me. Now, will we ever know? So, yeah, it's basically, Who knows? the chat will never go down. I'll be able to talk to you guys in chat and let you know what's going on. Like, you think they're going to call DSP and say, we caught the guy, Phil. He has been fired. Four hours. We have detained and eradicated him. Talking about the Maybe. Talking about Comcast's, you know, sad ineptitude. He's going to announce it on stream, uh, like when Bin Laden after died after and uh, John Cena talked about it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have caught and <clears throat> compromised the Comcast detractor. Probably the millions yes. Of people at the company. 
uh, at that point, the person who was there finally kind of understood, looked and said they had the evidence to show who was actually doing this and they saw it right in black and white. Yes, what I was saying is true. They have the evidence of it. They're going right to the supervisor. This would be handled. That's what I was told at the end of yesterday's stream. Okay? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so, um, basically, after that stream, I was able to do a stream last night of Street Fighter, no problems, but the thing is, I never had a problem with late streams. This person, apparently, when they were working, was always day shift. So they would always maliciously mess with my internet during, like, the morning or afternoon. And then I guess when their shift ended, they didn't have the opportunity to do it anymore because I never had a, a night stream that went down like I that. I probably weren't going to talk okay. about this um, anymore. I don't remember. But, I don't even remember you know, what now. What I'm thinking is this guy's going to go out with a blaze of glory, right? Bla if he's, he's going to go out and he's going to get fired or he's going to get arrested, whatever it's going to be that's going to happen. This? He's definitely going to try to mess with me one more time. Before what the hell? So Conspiracy theory? Turn on the stream and immediately it's going to go down or whatever. Right? I like that DSP so think a dude going out in a blaze of glory at his job on the last day is just fucking with his internet. Bruh, you could shut down a whole neighborhood if you wanted to go out like that. So I have been keeping them in the loop of what's been going on. I told them about being on hold for three hours, getting no help. I told them about all this stuff. And then yesterday, after I did my four hour stream, I sent them the link to the first video, the 50 minute video explaining the situation where I talked about it. He said this dude going out on a blaze of glory. I, at least three times now, maybe four, but definitely three times. Let's go ahead and do that it's 2023, now. by the way, and DSP's threatening some other guy going out in a blaze of glory on his last day at work. Dot, dot, dot. And I missed it. Okay, so huh? <clears throat> the funny part about all of this, <laughs> all right, is that apparently Comcast does actually think have about to handle situations like this, but they weren't taking me seriously, despite the fact that a month ago I showed them the You should call Comcast and tell them that an employee may be going out in a blaze of glory on his last day at work. I bet you they'll fucking listen to him. They ignored that too. I had to make a video about it on my YouTube channel in order to get them to take it seriously. That's Bruh. not right. That's, that, that's not true. And that that's not true. Wait a minute. This didn't happen this way. Nah, this didn't happen this way. It didn't. But they weren't taking me seriously. I was thinking about this yesterday. I didn't say it on stream, though. No, he didn't disconnect today. He's probably not going to disconnect today. And he went live late as fuck. He just went live. Last night, cause of all the pain the guy is currently going through. The pain. Eight army, rise up. We must send this guy to the shadow realm. Big ups, Dalus. Thank you for the 1017. Everybody's praying for you right now. Hopefully you can get through the pain. Apparently, Comcast does actually have people who handle situations like this, but they weren't taking me seriously. Despite the fact that a month ago I showed them the evidence that this was happening. Yeah, I was thinking they about this yesterday. Modem, I was it. wondering if he was going to say the fact that I complained about it online made them help me. It didn't, though. This is, a, in a way, it's kind of like the escort thing and how it, it blew itself up. I don't think him, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't think that happened. I think, I think if he continued to contact Comcast behind the scenes and not make it a thing on stream, it would have stopped or it would have went away eventually, I think. But maybe I'm a fucking idiot. They mishandled it completely. And then all day Monday. Like him making a stream about it made the dude talk about it on, on Kiwi Farms. That too. I had to make. It made that happen about it on my YouTube channel in order to get them to take it seriously. That's not right. You got That's proof? Completely ridiculously Did they say we watched your video? They're gonna learn a lesson from this. No, that the fucking sense. Twitter account not replied, probably. Streamer make a video nah, this is bullshit. Going on. How is He's coping, he's coping for acting like a Karen. You, you know, <clears throat> they're not going to help you. He's it's coping. Ridiculous. You should take it of the utmost seriousness. What they say is, oh, your security is of the utmost importance to us. It obviously wasn't. Why he With saying the, the video was, helped him? Doing anything about it. It obviously wasn't, right? His buffer and stream helped him. So, but how? Suppose did it help his hairline? Today, this is getting taken care of internally by Comcast. That's what I was say that yesterday by oh, okay. their, their support line. They told him it's getting taken it's care of at four p.m. But we got a countdown. A guarantee that it's happening immediately. Like this I said, right now, at any moment, my internet could go down. And if it does, I will chat with you guys. The chat's still going to work. And I will continue to record and all of that, okay? <clears throat> record what? And Sitting around? Supposedly, this corporate rep will be contacting me. Yes. So we'll talk about what's happening in the future. Because let's be honest, this this is completely ridiculous. My information is on the internet but for my account and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's all it's it's insane amounts of security breach and, and privacy breach. So what privacy? I want to know what they're going to do. I really address what they're going to say or offer. Like the thing that every time they get out, you say everybody know it. 
because now this is happening. That privacy? I guess we're going to find out. Maybe you should act all like right? it's a big deal all the time, but not some of the time. Now. You flaky but bitch. All of this going on, you know, it takes a toll. Everybody <laughs> knows my address. It's not a big deal. Makes me feel like shit. You showed, you, what, what was that you phone number you showed night, on your stream yesterday, DSP? Self-privacy breach? Kind of felt like, all right, well, you know, hopefully tomorrow things will go all right. I don't know, man. <clears throat> all right, and hopefully. He signal boosts the privacy you know, breach and then complain all about all it. So I wake up this morning. And He's self the sad part is that I Oh no. A lot of people sad part. Really I'm crying people. already. Okay. No. I my wife. Oh. I've had it my whole life. Well, I would say I probably got it around the time. <laughs> depression segment. Again. Again. He was too de Is he going to say he was too depressed to stream on time? Okay. Fine. Why are you playing Starfield today? That's going to help your depression, DSP, playing your least favorite game that make the least money that nobody wants to watch, that you don't want to play, that you don't want to see the end of. There's so many things that's wrong with you playing Starfield today. That makes no logical sense, my guy. If you want to complain about depression on pre-stream, maybe you should do something that make you happy after the pre-stream. Maybe. time I was a teenager is when it first kicked in. Oh, man. And Let, let's feel bad for him. Let's feel bad for Phil, you guys. All right. And what was Cat? I'm, it never goes away. It's always there. In the Remember when Cat showed up and some like, I, I'm pretty sure this was the first stream where Cat was sitting next to him. Some dude was like, hey, Phil, uh, could you give me tips on depression? And he was like, we're not going to talk about that right now. He damn near acted like his depression went away when Cat showed up. That was like one of the last times he really talked about it. And now we're doing it today. This is a team divorce moment. This whole day is a team divorce moment. Unfortunately. Right, Unfortunately. What happened was I woke up this morning and I felt It's like, a real, real tough one, like, dude. I didn't like you better bring up cat, bro. You better say, I woke up and I looked at my wife and I was like, hey honey, wanna make out? Wanna you better me. fucking bring her up. I didn't want to do nothing nothing at all. I just wanted to lay in bed and be left alone. I didn't want to get up. I didn't want to even use the bathroom. I didn't. I just wanted to sit there, miserable. Okay. So <clears throat> I did for a while. And what, let me tell you this, guys. The major difference between me now and me ten years ago, hell, even five years ago. Well, if we do the math, it would have been six years ago. Um. You know, me as an older YouTuber or an old time YouTuber from back in the day when I was younger versus now. Thank God I met Kat because she is the light in my life. She is the, one of the major reasons every single day why I get up because I want to see her. I want to be with her. And she basically, after me, like being in bed for hours, like a lump. Not wanting to move, not wanting to do nothing. And by the way, if you wonder what it's like when you're in depression, basically, there's no logical reason that you don't Bro. feel good. Okay? It's not like, oh, you know, this, this is such that. a now, fucking case, bum, man. A such an absolute fucking bum. This, right? Obviously, we know what's going on. Publicly, you guys know all about what's going on with my business and this online harassment and all of that. But also... You know, there's other stuff going on, too, behind the scenes. Private stuff that you guys don't know about that you... I, I've told you over this year, there's been some serious things that have happened to us that, <clears throat> you know, we're dealing with uh, in our own private life. And it all... It adds up. You know? Let me hear this again. Like I, I told you I could make it Not rain. wanting to move, not wanting to do nothing. And by the way, if you wonder what it's... Big that's ups. Right. That's right, Panda. Go bubble yourself. That's right. Go bubble yourself now. Like when you're in depression. Thank you for the full Basically, 20 dollars. There's no logical reason that you don't feel good. No logical reason. And then listen to him name a bunch of fucking surface level things. Okay, it's not like, oh, you know, this or that. Now, in my case, there's a lot of things going on that triggers this, right? Obviously, we... It's no logical reason for your depression or anyone else's depression. It's a logical reason for DSP's depression. And for some reason, it always got something to do with money or things that need money. You know what's going on. Publicly, you guys know all about... What's going on with my business in this online harassment? See, business. And all of that. And then online harassment. Yeah. So, you know, there's other stuff going on too behind the scenes. Other stuff? Like what? Like private stuff. You know, you remember when he looked down 
And like he actually did the hand motion like he was like, look at my dick. That's what he's talking about. The private stuff behind the scenes. I don't know. Watch this. See ya. Big ups, Rabbit Clone. Thank you for the, the positivity before clocking out, obviously. The prime. I have stuff that you guys don't know about that you, I, I told you over You don't know about. Serious things that happened to us that, <clears throat> you know, we're dealing with uh, in our own private life. And it all, it adds up. You know what I'm saying? And if this were me, I'm not exaggerating. I woke up. Not exaggerating. I didn't want to talk to anyone. I didn't want to interact with anyone. I had to post up an update so you guys knew that I wasn't coming to stream. Right? But basically, that was it. That was all I did. I didn't even move after that. And he didn't move. If I did not have cat in my this life, this how Amber Lynn pre streams okay, will be. Um, I probably would still be in bed right now. I probably would still be a miserable lump, and I would feel what a joke. Depressed. I'd probably be like crying and fucking feeling like shit, crying and just hating everything, hating life, hating myself, hating everything. Probably, by the way, a lot of probably right there, dude. Really, really fucking cool, man. I will probably be crying. I pro So this is our advice. If you're depressed, you just have to get married. You have to get married to a real person and move across the country with them or have them move across the country with you. And then you won't be depressed. And if you are depressed, you're going to just get snapped out of it. You don't need any drugs or any pills or any medicine or any doctors or any help or any counseling or anybody to talk to it anyway. Uh, you just need a strange person to cook food and play video games in the other room. And they will make you not depressed by eating DoorDash with you. Probably big ups. still be in bed right now. I probably would still be a miserable. This is a big boy. humble brag. I would feel ultimately depressed. I'd I'm depressed, by the way. Crying and fucking feeling like shit. Probably. Just hating everything. Hating life. Hating myself. Hating everything. Because that's what depression really is, is that it's a self. Time to pig explain uh, depression because DSP understand how everything works. self. Uh, what did they call? Not oh, now he it's don't know. Self-feeding cycle. That's the best. Self-feeding self cycle. cycle. Right? You feel miserable. So it's like a human centipede. As a result of feeling miserable. Because you do those things, they make your situation worse. And now... Bro, that's how you work. Because you're fucking toxic, dude. Yeah, every depressed person just do bad stuff to people around them to make the depression worse. Every depressed person is basically a dick. They're a, the dick gamer. Every depressed person is the dick gamer. That's why he's going to play Starfield today. Because he's depressed. And he want to take his fucking anger out on a video game. Because he can't do it anywhere else. That's all this is. Right? <laughs> and you know, he, don't he project that shit on the people all the time? That they're making fun of him because they're depressed and shit? And then he have a fucking pre-stream like this. Interesting. You feel miserable, so then you do yeah. as a result of feeling miserable. Because you do those things, they make your situation worse, and now that makes you feel miserable again. So then you do the things that make the situation That was my worse, depression. Miserable again. It just, so what you do that was a bad thing, thing DSP. Okay. You yell at somebody, so it never and it was because of your depression? Until you get... What an adult, mature human. human. Look at him, he's banning somebody. And you know, and then he um, leaning around uh, and make sure the body dead. That, See, look at him. He leaning around the mic. She did. She was like, "Are you all right? What's you know? This is ridiculous. What's going on?" Cat showed you know, up in the story. Are you all right? She got me. You know, she got me to get up. She got me to move around, shower. You know, was she in the bed next to you yeah. before that? All right. You know what? All right. I'm gonna get moving again. She this got shit. you to shower. You know? We got she go. you she need and, and the thing well, is right now, you know what right now. I'm okay. not even kidding. Like right now, I feel like shit. I think I think I think he's exaggerating that. I don't think Kat told him to take a shower, right? She didn't tell him to take a shower. Nah. Nah. Kat was probably like, you gotta get up, honey. And he extrapolated the fuck out of that shit. And made it seem like she like coached him into doing everything, which makes him look uh like a real mature adult. You know what's funny? I remember this dude. This dude, the guy right here on the screen, the Onion Man, I remember he had some weird rant. Of course, it was an anti-troll rant. And he said something like, these people, they probably can't even get out of bed in the morning. They probably need help getting out of bed in the morning. I think he was one of those, the trolls are depressed, so they make fun of me. One of those rants. Isn't that interesting? And then we get this from him today. Wow.
Did DSP, did you need help getting out of bed in the morning? Did you need to be told to take a shower by your 30 something year old wife as you're 41, 42? I forget how old he is. Huh. Interesting. She was like, are you all right? What's, you know, this is ridiculous. What's going on? This is ridiculous. It's like his mama trying to wake him up. This is ridiculous. Get out of the bed and take a shower. Yeah, because she did. She was like, are you all right? What's, you know, this is ridiculous. What's going on? You know. You know. And she got me, you know, she got me to get up. She got me to move around, shower, you know, and I have coffee at a big, all right, you know what? All right. What I'm a gonna fun get free stream. That's it. You know, we got to go. We, and, and the thing is, right now, it's in my head right now. I'm not even kidding. Like, right now, I feel like shit. Like, actually, in the back of my head, I got these awful thoughts about... He's trying to make the quote in the back of my head. It's WWE champion style. You know? We gotta go. We, and, and the thing is, right now, it's in my head right now. I'm not even kidding. Like, right now, I feel like shit. Like, actually, in the back of my head, I got these awful thoughts about you're a piece of shit and... You know, you don't deserve nothing, and this, you know, that's what it is. You get that awful, negative, overbearing feeling of doom and gloom for no logical reason. And then it like, makes I you want to get mad at Starfield. What happened with Comcast? Obviously, it's completely wrong. It never should have happened. It's a crime. Even if someone doesn't like me, there's a difference between trolling someone or making fun of them on the internet or actually committing crimes against them, which is bro. what happened to me. Right? Bro, 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 bro. You said it was a crime to restream you. You said it was a crime to restream you. Don't act like it was okay the whole time. You goalpost mover. No, I know that in my It's head. one thing like, to make fun of me on the internet. It's another to like try to take my business down. About logic. It's one thing to make fun of me on the internet. It's another thing to make fun of my family. <clears throat> emotion. Okay? And it, it used to be... When it's it, one thing to do this. God, it's another thing to make fun of me on the internet. Now, it's one thing to make fun of them on, on the internet. It's another thing to do whatever the thing is now. I was going to push forward anyway. I was going to record it locally, so it didn't matter if the internet went down because it's a single-player game anyway. Nah, it still can't matter. I get out of fucking bed now because of all this shit, right? Take a sip. This dude said he can't even get out of bed. It's terrible. Did you have any drinks it's last shitty. night? It's shitty. It sucks. Okay. And we're banning. Yeah. Get him out of here. So, yeah, uh, that's what happened this morning. But eventually, my I, life. You know, thanks okay. Thanks to my wife. Here I am. All right. That's so been it's going very so late. Well. It's one fifty-two p.m. All right, and I'm gonna do a show. We're gonna do a podcast here. Show. Today, and we're gonna hang out, and we're gonna interact, and we're gonna have a good chill time. All right, we are. I'm so hungry, man. And I'm happy about that. The stomach been that's growing. What I, I won't talk about it. I need normalcy. I need I need a you know things going well and just being smooth, and no bullshit. If the internet goes out, fuck it. I'll still go anyway, and I can chat with you guys. The chat will continue to work. If you see the stream go down, I could still talk with you in the chat. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you know you know you you so know you no go, one right? wants to do that. So DSP talking doing, in man. the chat to his Hopefully, viewers is like the most the gross thing Maybe ever. Maybe they did internally take care of it. Right? This snarky fucking sarcastic right asshole. Down. I don't know. He's an even meaner person was, when I'll he types the people in the chat. In my head is I don't even want to go on stream because I don't want to give this guy any more attention. I don't want to give him the satisfaction, right? That he'll be able to go on this stream and reset my modem or do something, and then he feels like he got instant gratification because he had an action on this planet that had a, a consequence or. Something you know what I mean? Like a lot of people on this planet are they they're insignificant or they feel insignificant. So what wow. they, do is they create situations where they get an outcome based on their actions and as long as they Wow. It turned into fucking Isaac Rant. Like he got instant gratification because he had This is the depression man, by the way. He wanna make other people more depressed. Action on this planet that had a, a, a consequence or something you know what I mean? Like a lot of people on this planet are they they're insignificant or Something you know what I mean? Like a lot of people on this planet are they they're insignificant. This is DSP saying this. Dark side Phil saying this. A, a streamer that people like saying this would get enough bad press. <laughs> Again, this is one of those things like DSP's so trash and so overall hated. It don't really matter when he say stuff like this, but if so, like if fucking Pokemane said this, this shit would be a huge big deal. Articles everywhere. Somebody remember? Um, somebody remember? Years and years and years and years ago, it was this streamer who wasn't even like a popular guy. 
I'm not going to get into that too much. But he was like at some panel. And long story short, he went on his speech. And during the speech, he was like, I feel like, you know, I'm better than these people. Like, they're under me. He didn't word it that way, but that was what he was getting at. The whole fucking internet got mad at that dude. Everybody was like, this is how streamers actually feel. This guy is exposing how other streamers think and all kind of shit like that. Yeah, M.M. does. Is that, that, I think it was a DVD player too. That dude, that shit ruined that dude's career. It ruined his streaming career. People still show up and troll him about it to this day. He probably get 20 fucking views max on a good day. And 10 of the people that show up, they're going to show up to make fun of him. DSP do a, a weird speech like that. Normal day. Nobody cared because he's so trash. Nobody wants to touch him except the garbage men like me. Except the garbage men. We're professional trash men. Yes. The satisfaction, right? That he'll be able to go on. And Big up, Shroom. You hear at the perfect time. DSP's on a crazy, crazy rant. Maybe they did internally take care of it, right? Maybe they did. Maybe that's why right now the internet's not going down. I don't know. You know? that was. I'll be honest. That was another factor in my head is I don't even want to go on stream because I don't want to give this guy any more attention. I don't want to give him the satisfaction, right? That he'll be able to go on this stream and reset my modem or do something and then he feels like he got instant gratification. We're getting he uh, on the Isaac rant right, right now. Consequence or... Something you know what I mean? Like a lot of people this on part. this planet are they they're insignificant or they feel insignificant. So what they do is they create situations where I think he put that they feel insignificant in there because he knew that was a really rough statement. A lot of people on this planet are insignificant. Dot 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 or they feel insignificant. And you know, someone really got screwed over. You have to change how that one came across. I don't know how that's valid. hundred percent because that's awful. Oh my god about it but that's how some people are it's a result of sadly having people on this he did it with no the fucking legend in their life, right if you have meaning if you have positivity in your life if you have bits. meaningful things you Remember do every last day night, shut right up, you guys. have activities that we you like to do you have friends you have family you have yeah. a job that maybe you feel is worthwhile and fulfilling remember, remember when he didn't really want to talk about it until the story was over life, that's what you focus on you don't focus on taking the positivity away from others who have it but that's how a lot of people are on planet earth and that's sad what it's fucking really planet you went to I what other planet you know about dsp worse, and worse now with the internet being such a factor and so much power of anonymity and people being able to do things to each other remotely <clears throat> like big for money gonna get worse and worse would DSP okay. ask for so, money if he had to stream in person? Think about that, right? This person, Would he even accept about, it? That was in the back of my head. I'm like, if I go <laughs> on a stream, right, and this guy resets my internet, now he feels validated again, even though, you know, Comcast is aware and he's likely on his way out the door, whether it's today, This tomorrow, shit weird as fuck. You know, next week, whatever it is. He feels validated. Think you know, they would Don't do DSP right feel validated when he do whatever weird like shit he do and go on his coke rants? It's rolling down a slow hill, right? God damn it, like, dude. That's how they get stuff done. Oh, so, big ups, little cookie. <clears throat> the three finger really canes like, combo order. I just was thinking this is another reason why I was like, I, I don't want to go on stream today. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go on stream today, right? It'll so, probably be here like um hour and a half from said, now. Here I am, just very, very late. And I apologize when I show for that. Up, I'll be that taking a shot of Fireball I like I normally do with food I orders. Hang out with all I'm adding 12 to hours to the stream like I normally do with the food and orders. Positive, and it's hard. It's absolutely positively hard to do that uh, with all the shit going on in my life. And this is just one of the many things, but it's just... Don't worry, you don't have a virus. Today, it's a fake right? alert. And it's like, here we go. I don't think go. you really heard it anyway. Thing, it was probably really thing. quiet. And, you know, it's funny because some people even say to me, how do you get through this? Like, this is crazy stuff how that happens. How do you get through so, it? So how do you manage to get through it? I, Being I married. I told you I could make it rain. But Darlux when you get to a point $4 so and 20 cents. Oh, he's big about ups. the bullshit. That's Let's big forget about the decades of trolling in the internet, but everyone else in planet Earth is insignificant. Get eradicated, burn a lack -hack -hack. You Say to me, how do you get through this? Like this is Look, crazy. he's just speaking his mind. So how do you manage to get through it? He's not I negative. He just sounds it, negative. I hate to say it. You get to a point when so much has happened, okay? You basically get to a point where you're desensitized to it. So think about it this way. The first time you ever saw a really gory horror movie. Okay, he's being cringe now. If he was desensitized to anything, why was he too stressed out to stream today? He actively let this affect his job, 
even when it wasn't affecting his job. He wasn't getting his internet reset. He wasn't actively being trolled. He didn't get trolled today. But he let his emotions prevent him from streaming, and his emotions prevented him from streaming because of the trolling that happened. How the fuck is that being desensitized to trolling? If you don't stream because you're depressed because of trolling. Right? Right? Where someone gets like like brutally attacked. It's a great podcast today. And, you know, and hurt. The real community the first vibes. Every time you see it, you're like, oh God, that's awful. You're like, oh my God, it can actually affect you really badly. And then the third time it happens, you're like, all right. And then when you've seen Friday the 13th part 72, where, you know, he's ripping people's limbs off and shoving it up their nostrils. Uh, you're kind of desensitized to it. You don't feel anything much anymore because you've seen it a million times. Mm. I kid you not. I wish that this were a joke I'm about to tell you right now. It is not. Oh, boy. This is not the first I wish I was exaggerating. That someone has done something like this to me. This is not the second time that someone has done something like this to me. This is the third time in the time that I've been a YouTuber that someone has done something like this to me. That <clears throat> they maliciously got control of something they should not have control of and they took money away from me or they did something that was not authorized or you know what i mean this is the third time so yeah if this were the he first didn't lose time, any I money by the way he's gonna get it all back he's probably gonna get credits three, and everything kind of don't feel that this bill you know should I mean? be free like, for a couple of months in my opinion based so on what happened deal, you know and at, at minimum it sucks they should give him life free internet for you know? a couple I mean, of months you know, so 100 percent. i don't know will they i have they, done you should care enough to like do i can and i am still trying on a daily basis <laughs> i demand free internet person. for at least three months i am fucking flawed. morons i understand that i ha make mistakes right I, I fly off the cuff i have rage i have well, you do? issues sometimes sometimes you do? disrespectful to a fan you do a huh what? What? This speech is new. Sometimes I'm disrespectful to a fan or a viewer. He didn't say sometimes I'm disrespectful to stupid idiots in my chat or anything like that. No way. Daily basis to improve myself. He really is depressed. Person. I understand that I am flawed. I no, I'm a human, that huh? I make mistakes, right? I, I fly off the cuff. I have rage. I have anger issues sometimes. Sometimes I'm disrespectful to a fan or a viewer. Sometimes I'm just already disrespectful to a troll, which I think they deserve, but obviously I should be better than that, right? Sometimes I'm just already disrespectful to a troll, which I think they deserve, but obviously I should be better than that, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> All of them Hold deserve, on, deserve yeah, it? I All of them? I am grateful sometimes, or I ask for too much from my audience. You know, uh, there's many things that I feel hmm. like over time I can still improve on. I'm definitely not perfect, but I do feel that... I have improved. I've done the the internal searching work since I met Cat. I feel like I've become a better person, right? So the question is, what else can I really do? Because it seems like the people who have issue with me have issue with old Phil or you know what I mean. These these weird. I like that he couldn't make himself a better person these on his own. For them. And, that's and he and he's happened. proud of this too. It has nothing he's proud to do of with it. Me or my content. Or anything I put out on the internet. It's just these weird obsessive circles. He changed Cat and Cat changed him. Because that's the thing. There's a difference. How much did he change Cat? Like, so much we can't ever see her again. Did something really and how much did she change him? Right? So but much that he became a, some guy, weird I'm version of a fucking guy, soy like, boy. Talk about the things that you would think. Some strange would be amalgamation of soy man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> I just don't get it. I don't understand, like, because will we'll ever get better? I want Man, this shit like better. a boogie stream. What the fuck? I want it to, st to, to, the nonsense to really stop at this point. Because it's to the point Baby where it's, man it's getting gaming. dangerous. You know, this stuff? And what stuff? You have to hope, right? You have to hope that it will get better. All right? But all right. I don't know if it will. Because I'm not controlling it anymore. These, these actions that are Bitch, happening to better. me are not a direct result of me doing something heinous, right? It wasn't like last week I went on stream and I had a racist tirade against people. This is dumb because the person, like, obviously, you don't have to do something like super recently like that. This is so stupid. I don't even feel like talking about it. Like if somebody trolled DSP, they're trolling him based on basically all of the times he's been cringe, dumb, annoying, and all of that. It's like so many things. For all I know, the dude that did the Comcast shit, maybe they just really, really hated his Metal Gear Solid 3 playthrough. Maybe they really, really hate how much he asked for money. 
Maybe they really, really hate who he asked for money from. Maybe they really, really hate it when he didn't demod Vidar during the doxing saga. Maybe he really hated when he called his viewers uh, sexist for not liking Cat, or when he called his viewers sexist for not liking Panda Lee. I don't know. Maybe he's really mad from something 10 fucking years ago. DSP gets that. But he's like, oh, this dude trolled me and I didn't do anything yesterday. So why he trolled me yesterday? I mean, don't don't he shit on companies that did stuff 10 years ago because they did stuff 10 years ago? Uh, Yeah, he do. And people are, wow, that guy's wow. a disgusting racist. Wow, that guy's like, a disgusting yeah, racist. That didn't happen. That didn't happen yet. Like I mean, recently. Happened. Nothing. It never happens. It literally is the polar opposite of that. My streams are tame, right? Compared to what? Phil, Phil's actually not that interesting of a guy. Much, much more interesting to talk about, you know, wings or boogie or someone else. Wow, deflecting. To talk about if you're if, when you say that, you, I take that as a compliment because I don't want to be more people going to say it now. That's all anyone talks about. I would rather sit here and relax with my audience. He's like, go make fun of Boogie of Wings, please. Don't make fun of me. Laugh at rage. Have a good time. You know what DSP, you know it's not more fun to make fun of Boogie. You know it's not. I don't need to be virally popular. I don't need to be Mr. We got one fun Boogie clip in the last 15 years. I never did. Stuff like that. You know what I mean? I don't. You know what I mean? That shit. So it really disturbs me. You say that, that I say I that. Nothing to do with any of that. Yet I've got situations like this happening. Fuck your mother. Like, you know, people DSP say that shit every 20 minutes. Like, Phil, you're now in your 40s. You ever think about having kids? Having kids? Are you insane? Because the trolls. Look at what happens just to me. Yep. And my family. My direct family. Being harassed constantly. Stalked. Spring 3. Attacked. At every nah, I'm pretty sure you heard that clip. And you now just, you uh, think I should you'll have hear kids? It. But I'm not playing it. Because I don't. I don't How? want to. Because you. Definitely heard it. Irresponsible before. would it be for me to have a child anyway. and put them into the situations that I am in? What did they do to deserve that? Right? That's not a choice that they made. That would be something they're forced into a life of drama. You know what I mean? Yeah, a one like, year old on going Earth? through drama on the internet. I'm just. <laughs> Why are you talking you know, about this DSP? So I thought this was a depression it rant. It shouldn't be. You, when you think about that, like, whoa, that shouldn't be a consideration. You're right, it shouldn't. But it is. It absolutely is. I got to think about things fairly and logically. It's like, I can't have a, a, a kids and stuff. How could I? How could I ever have that? And that's fucked up to think that way, but that's how I have to think. You know? It's really messed up, man. So, that's what I mean. Like, I just want... I just want to be left alone with my audience to, to do the content I do. I don't want to be involved in the hate circles and the drama circles. I, I stay out of them on purpose. Yet, the internet just seems to have lashed its claws into me because I've been around for so long, because I used to be a more polarizing figure over a decade ago. Oh, yeah. A go. decade ago. I have become like the whipping boy. Over a so decade much. ago. Easy to just make fun of Phil. It's easy to just, you know... You know, you know, make the meme about him, make the joke I mean, about him, true. make the crack about him. So now, now, but it's a reason for that DSP. You see the end result of that. It's a reason for that. When I become the butt of every joke, even though I'm not doing anything that's wrong or polarizing, I'm not even pissing anyone off. You get people like this crazy person at Comcast who thinks it's okay to mess with me like this because everyone on the internet doesn't like me. Do you understand it's direct cause and effect? Can we look at this situation now from a big picture perspective? And can we say, wow, the reasons Phil life is fucked up is because everyone just constantly makes fun of him even though he's not doing anything to cause it. And because of that, now there's legit thousands of people on earth that hate his guts and might hurt him. At what point do we think it was just okay to act like this? This is a pitiful this fucking constantly? segment. Poor guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Drake. And it shouldn't have ever been allowed. YouTube should have never allowed this bandwagon mentality of of drama, conspiracy, hatred, bullying, 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 bullying. That YouTube should have never allowed the thing that he just told us was okay. Remember? It's one thing if you do this. It's another if you do what this dude just did. But now YouTube should have never allowed the thing that's okay.
That's the word for it. That 100% is the word for all of this. It became monetized bullying. Oh shit, I was muted. It's because my fucking Steam Deck, uh, stream deck keep glitching out. Let's roll on in. And it shouldn't be I desperately need to restart okay my computer, but I am not. To act like this. Oh yeah, I remember what I was talking constantly. about. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it shouldn't have ever been allowed. He's talking YouTube so slow, but I don't want to speed this up. never allowed mentality of, of drama, conspiracy, hatred, bullying, bullying, bullying. Okay, so YouTube should have never allowed basically making fun of him right youtube shouldn't have allowed this i don't plays youtube shouldn't have allowed restreams but today didn't he basically say it's one thing to do that stuff and it's another to do what this dude's doing slippery slope it's always one thing to make fun of him one thing to restream him one thing to make fun of his gameplay but another thing to do some other thing that's worse and then he says this one thing that I said was okay shouldn't be around. Basically, people that make fun of them shouldn't be around. They shouldn't be allowed to be monetized. They shouldn't even have a platform because they have a platform that may entice other people to be more mean to DSP. And I'm like, don't he bully Activision though? DSP bullies Activision. You know what? He's going to bully Starfield today too. That's why he planned it today. This is going to actually be a bully Starfield stream. Genuinely, genuinely. Bullying, bullying, bullying. That's the word for it. That 100% oh, is the word for all of this. It became monetized bullying. And that's about money not too. be allowed anywhere. It shouldn't be on YouTube. It shouldn't be on Twitch. It shouldn't be on any social media sites. There should be no monetized bullying at all. <clears throat> okay? It's about money too. It's, it's always about money. What about the people that bully you and don't get monetized? Then you're going to want them gone next. And then eventually DSP is going to be gone because they're going to get rid of dudes that monetize bullying video games. <laughs> you're too mean to that video game, Phil. Don't you know a wide group of multicultural, multinational, LGBTQIA plus people made that game and you're saying that they should be fired for making it? Uh, guess what? We're going to delete your account. And then he's going to be fucking bitching on kick or something about it. Okay. Bullying. And it is messed up that they have turned it into... Him? Him and fucking Prince Albert bully 672 all the time. ...an almost industry of monetized bullying. Not the wrestler. Right? And right? It's like, what power do I have? I'm just little, the little small guy. Right? Oh, yeah. If I... We saw that video, DSP, you are pretty small. ...continue the bully. <laughs> and it never goes away. That's bullying right there. No. If I do respond, I fuel DSP, bullying. no one's bullying so you. Like They're critiquing and viewing your content while giving live commentary. You stupid fuck. No matter what I do, if I respond, if I don't respond, it stays and it, it, it continues, right? It stays. Like right now, there's people legit pissed off that oh. I will not respond to their bullying. I've been completely ignoring certain groups of people who every day talk about me. Why? Because they don't deserve my time and attention. And just talking about it gives them what they want so they can keep that circle going of hatred and bullying. Right? But that drives them nuts. So now they'll bring me up again and then they'll bring it. You know what I mean? They're never satisfied. So why is it allowed? Why is there an ent entire shows of that on YouTube? Why this is that is not wild. stricken from YouTube immediately or flagged for demonetization? You can't make money on it. So make the content, but you ain't going to get anything as a, as a result of this, right? That's then he would just want them to get taken down because they get too much popularity. He would just hate on them getting any popularity after that. It's like, this shit lame as fuck when he actually genuinely talk like this. Because I'm like, what about them making a living? DSP's the only one that makes a living. You like that? Everybody else on the fucking internet, they're making a buck. They're getting a quick buck. They're getting over on people. They're making too much money. They're making money they don't deserve. They're making money they shouldn't be able to get, money they shouldn't be allowed to get. DSP, he's making honest money, honest living. He's not making a quick buck. He's not getting the bag. He's feeding his family and paying his bills. Boogie, Wings, anybody else that make fun of this dude even slightly? Richard, me, we're all making a quick buck.
We're making greedy, disgusting money that we don't deserve. We're, we're making too much of it. We don't have bills. None of us have a family. We're not as meaningful as DSP. If we go away, no one will miss us. This is pignosis. That's what should happen. We're supposed all to believe this. All of that content should be flagged. And once it's flagged for their monetization, the greedy piggy. What? They'll all go away. Because the only reason they're doing it is for money. Oh, yeah? They don't do it for free for fun. They want to make For free for fun. That's why they're doing it, right? So, Are you sure? That's exactly what should happen. But yeah. is YouTube doing that? So it's okay, made so much money. Remember DSP? You stupid fuck. He made so much money making fun of you, right? You guys sometimes bring up what a clown, man. You know, respond. You have no idea. I'm not gonna sit here. Like for example, I didn't even watch that Turkey Tom documentary on the people that go to hardest shitting on this dude don't make a dollar. Talked about it, and now genuinely additional videos out of it, just because you guys talked about it and I responded, right? And it's always been that way since like 2012. It just comes up in natural conversation, and that becomes their content for the day. Right. And everybody else stream for money and do this for money, do everything for money. You talk about him doing it for money. My streams are free. You can watch my streams without paying. I don't have a paywall. Ads run, but ads barely run on my content. I don't have like tons of ads. I don't have a bunch of sponsorships. <laughs> it's fucked up. It's fucked it up. It really is. It's fucked up. I can't believe you're doing this. You know what? I actually can. This is the toxic. This is the toxic nuclear fucking bomb. He drops before his day off. He's gonna do this and give the trolls something to make fun of tomorrow. DSP's depression, like anti-humanity rant. I don't know what to say or do. The Isaac the rant. All I can say is, here's what I will tell you all. First of all, I apologize. I was not. You need to apologize today. for waking. I mean, nothing. I'm gonna tell you now what we're gonna do today because it's a difference. A you should apologize for waking uh, up. Well, him waking up and coming on stream late to this. You should have right, stayed in the fucking bed. Finish it today. Have it done and stuff and like lied. that. Okay? My alarm uh, didn't go off. Here's the should have just lied. All right. Here's what I can promise you. All right. Why are you making a promise? Here's what I absolutely can promise all of you. Dude, remember when DSP promised he wouldn't be a part of drama anymore? I'm pretty sure he's put himself in drama and been a part of what he considers drama since then. But you know, he changed. He moved the goalpost a lot. I'm not going to give up. Oh, wow. What a promise. I'm not going to give up. He's not going to give up on feeding his family and paying his bills, basically. Dude, of, of, John Cena? John Cena moment again. John Cena moment again. I'm not going to give up. Congrats, man. You're not going to give up on doing this. Shoot. All right. I mean, no shit, he's not going to give up. Here's what I absolutely... If he give up, he acts like he'll be homeless if he give up, which I'm he might be. Up. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to go cry in a corner. I mean, it hit me bad today, and I almost did that. Like, that's literally almost what I did today. Thankfully, my wife pulled me out of that. Okay, and I am so grateful. Can you be strong on your own, though? Life forever. Can you um, be strong on your own, though? You know what I mean? One day so, you might not have that lady DSP. You know that, right? Thank you for Come on, dude. You're 41. What's going on? A lot of you, you try to shit on other people nice and try to make it seem like they can and function and I get out of the bed in the morning. You the one. I you can't even I make do. eggs in the morning. This is Actually, the best thing that I've you ever can't even get out of the bed without feeling like you want to cry. The most and you push that shit on the people that make fun of you. That That's I've pitiful. Done publicly. You know what I mean? Privately. Find the DSP troll. They're saying that they can't get out of bed without crying. Find that fucking troll restream where they're talking about that. Because that's the shit DSP push on other people. And he's admitting to it on his stream. Fuck that. Bridge is the most important thing. I'm but depressed. It's okay for him to be depressed. But other people being, being depressed, they're like pitiful. And they lash out at people because of it. But then he admits to doing it. Having meaningful discussions. So confusing. Right? Relax right? with each other. I can't wait for him to lash out at Starfield that today and yell at some of his viewers for not talking to him. The, so meaningful to me. So meaningful to me. To say the thing. 100%. The, so meaningful to me. I'm not going to give it up because of this kind of action. I refuse. All right? That is the antithesis of who I am. Remember, what I used to tell you guys is when people used to hate on me for stuff, it motivates me. I thought he was they the antithesis of making I'm money or something. I'm a piece of shit. I'm this. I'm that. I'm on level one. When you say that about me, you actually give me strength. Because now my resolve is redoubled to prove you wrong. 
that I will still be here no matter You're still on mission one. The SP is mission one, not level one. You're still on mission one. Why can't he become a better streamer? Because people say he's such a bad streamer. People have been saying he's a bad streamer since the day he started streaming. It used to be a website where you could give streamers reviews, and he had the lowest reviews on the whole website out of all of the e-celebs and shit and everything. Can we become a better streamer on purpose since we can do everything else on purpose to spite people that don't like us? Uh, no. I'm trying my hardest, man. Don't compare me to fucking XQC. Don't compare me to popular streamers and don't compare me to other streamers that are smaller than me because uh, we don't talk about them. For what? For what? To prove you wrong. That I will still be here no matter what. When this no what. world goes to shit, I will still be streaming. When Weird statement. He's saying this shit because of COVID. Something, something worse than that could happen, dude. What are you going on about now? What? When this world goes to shit, I will still be streaming. When you all sure? of my contemporaries are falling apart and they're demonetized and they can't make a living, I'll still be mm. here. What when if I, you get demonetized? Right now, if a chasm opened up in the middle of my front street and Satan came out of the chasm, for me... Childish. This is genuinely childish when he do this shit. Street. And Satan we supposed to take chasm. this dude serious now? For or are we me, supposed to think this is a joke? I we gonna laugh at the end of this? I into the fucking chasm with Satan. I would drag him down to hell. I would shove my hand up his fucking ass. All okay, right? Because sexual I would harassment. I rip his head off like a fucking puppet. This is Duke Nukem now. And then I would out of the chasm and I would turn my stream on to be with you guys. To be with you guys. I don't give any of this bullshit. None of it is ever going to stop me. You understand? I am going it's to be with you guys. creepy man. I want to be with you for guys. As long as I possibly can. It be with your be wife. Me who decides Re. when I stop making content. Nobody else. Me. I will determine that date. All right? It will be me. So understand that. Doesn't matter what people say or do. It doesn't matter what kind of nonsense they make the up. The Raisin Kings will be here. Harassment that I get. None of this matters. Between 457 and 515 p.m. My time. To chill so like you. 45 minutes from now. I know that sounds crazy. It sounds a lot like a lot of but things. But so is my life. Uh oh. How many times have I said, I know this is going to sound crazy, but it's actually true. I'm not exaggerating, by story, the way. And it really is true. Right? Right. So, <laughs> so there you go. All so right? there you go. Right? For, for me. Re. And this is the truth. This is the, the truth. The actual worst part. All right? All right. About all of this. Okay. The worst thing that would happen to me ever he would be if people didn't care. Really stupid. Okay. And I then if I turned on my stream one day and there was no one on the other side, no one cared about me. No one wanted to hang out with me. No one wanted to hear my thoughts and see me play a video game. What no a one, thing to admit know, to. That's, that's the date when I realized that's not worth it anymore. If people on the internet don't care about him, he's leaving that part out. Didn't care. The worst this is thing if that people on the internet ever. didn't care. Isn't he married with a meaningful family and a good life behind the scenes? But the worst thing that could happen to him was if people on the internet didn't care about him. Uh, what? Hold up. Being an intelligent human right now? Would be if people didn't care. That if I turned on my stream one day and there was no one on the other side. I received no zero care. No one out with me no one wanted like to a gigapit and see me play a video game no one you know that's that's the date when i realized that's not worth it anymore right let's just end this all and turn it off for good that'll be the day i thought you're never gonna right? give up but that's not i'm never happened. i'm never gonna give up unless i show up to my own stream and no one's there yeah i'm never gonna give up unless i have zero views the unreachable once you get like a few sure i'm less prominent now sure there's less people the is going to always have one person watching. That's it's going to be me. But and then he's never going to give up because of me. And then he's going right. to always uh, have one view. Definition of the term. Someone's watching. Uh, it would be nice if I got a like, you guys. Can I get a like? Can you like the stream, whoever's watching? You could say I'm a failure because I'm not as big as I used to be. I didn't make the decisions that would have set me up financially. I'm holding B. Uh, what do you want from me? What's my fucking for, shovel? For life or whatever. You know, I could have been bigger, right? In my right. opinion, I feel like if I had changed, 
I changed who I was to do that, to become financially sound or whatever, my life would suck. I would do something I don't enjoy, right? I enjoy what I do, doing these fun What you doing, though? Enjoying multiplayer games, hanging out with you guys, having meaningful discussions. I like the new React channel I'm doing now. It's been fun all year to do this kind of uh, extra projects and stuff like that. You know what I mean? All of it. It's awesome. And you could judge for yourself, oh, well, you don't have this, you don't have that. You're right. But at the same time, I'm happy. I have a great home life. I have a, a great business here. We just had a massive segment about how he's depressed. He couldn't get out of bed in the morning and he was going to cry. We did that today. Today. So, and you could judge for yourself. Oh, well, uh, you don't have this, you don't have that. You're right. But at the same time, I'm happy. I have a great home life. I have a, a great business here. Man. So your judgments of failure are different from mine for sure. I what if my judgment of failure is not being able to get out of bed unless you have somebody talk you out of getting out of the bed? What if my judgment of failure is not being able to take a shower unless you're of age 30-something-year-old wife tell you to take a shower? That's, I mean, according to DSP, Cat told him to take a shower. I don't think she actually did, though. I think he just added a bunch of shit on her, like, saying one sentence. Because he always do that. Like, he's always do that. He's always going to do that. He do that to people close to him and to people he don't know. I'm never going to give up what I truly have passion for. You just said you would right? give up if nobody I'm watched. I'm lucky that I'm able to make a living doing this. While most other people cannot... They've had to find ways to hurt to to monetize when you know they couldn't do the content that originally. This is about to say it hurt do, people. That means hurting others. Oh, there you go. And product placements and all kinds of crap. That they're not equivalent at all. Value what you're doing on the internet, right? So according to him, it devalues I'm what you do to give anywhere, shout outs. Right? That's the promise and commitment. He said that before he wanted to do that. All right. I will always find. I always way. think about the era of DSP not wanting to give shout outs because he was disgusting. Keep making content. And hanging out with because he wanted to be better than those other streamers that ruin their right. content with shout outs. Where it is because it may or may not be on YouTube. I would love to stay here forever. I really forever like want to keep all my content here, but who knows what might happen in the future? I don't know. We all know how messed up these systems are, and there's problems. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time that YouTube made an error, and now a channel suspended, and we got to work around it and stuff like that, right? But. He wants people to make get deleted and demonetized, by the way, because me. they make what he All considers right. bullying well, content. It's going to continue and it ain't going oh, to stop. Everyone around me, all the buildings will crash and crumble down and everyone else will be, you know, canceled and kicked out and everything will fall apart. I'm still going to be here. Okay? Fair enough? Okay. Oh, shit. We got another one. All right. All right. That's what I have to say about it. Now, let us talk about what we're going to do today because now today is completely screwed up. It's 2.13 p.m. My stream only goes till 4 p.m. I might upload so this to YouTube podcast, with the audio good enough. And this is a wild pre-stream. what we're going to do is we're going to play Starfield, which only has, from I understand, like 30 minutes left. It's like a final segment. You make a big critical choice. Then it leads into endgame, and then it basically leads into... Oh, shit. It's like Pokemon. I get to pick a little dude. And now I give you my thoughts about the game overall. No, I'm Once that's done, thankfully, now I can talk about this game in my year-end series coming up. You guys like Pokemon? Ah, you can't okay. see it anyway. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I did nothing um, wrong. And uh, hopefully that'll be good. That'll be a thing. Uh, uh, that will be a thing that will now be done with, so we can move forward with all regular streams this weekend. And after we're about, oh, am I gonna finish Starfield? So we get a B. Finish it today and get it done. So tonight's stream is gonna be at 6:45 p.m. Pacific time. It's gonna be Light Dragon Guide. We get a dinosaur. And Leo. I haven't played it all. We get a thing. Shim. And I know that people want to see it or pissed off or not pissed off. I'm disappointed, right? I'm disappointed too. I love the game, and I'm sad I didn't get to play it. What Something game you love? Like, like a guy? Okay. I'm off from Like a man? So tonight's late stream is going to stay what it was going to be. At 6.45 p.m. Pacific time, it's going to be Like a Dragon Gaiden. This is a okay. game that I like, and I love doing these chill streams, and because of the internet being screwed up all week, I haven't played it at all. All right? And that's messed up that I haven't played it at all, and I know that people want to see it or pissed man, off or not pissed people off at this love point. These damn right? cars, I'm disappointed, dude. too. I love the game, and I'm Putting sad that I didn't get and to shit. Play. So I'm playing that We're going to get a real Pokemon game. Off. Well, okay. maybe not. I'm off from streaming. During the DS era? Friday, it's going to be Super Mario. You would have got a remake, Pokemon game to spinoff. Today, where, like, you have a Pokemon and they have cards. I'm finally taking my Dalsim into rank. Your Pikachu got, like, like, 15 cards. I want to see the ranked placements. I want to see how Phil does hanging, you know, gets the ranked players. That's happening So Friday many now. games okay. use cards and Saturday, and, uh, now, man. So many. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. And I'm wondering if it's ever going to go away. Be more, uh, like a Dragon the Guide. fan. Okay. Sunday. Fire and Water Psychic. Wait, what? They're weak to Water Psychic. I actually am going to have more 
patron yeah. private react videos to do this month than I've had in months. So Slayer. I need to take off the night stream because I have, I believe, two or more hours of private videos. I like when he don't do a whole stream because he's got to do videos okay. for like two people. And then we get back on track on Monday. Entire community get punished because he's doing cam girl videos. Tuesday, you know, uh, Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer and like a Dragon Guidance and go from there. Now, hopefully, we will finish mario rpg next week and i think we will yeah, because right now i want to say we're, what, uh, nine to twelve like hours into it cards we are nine instead hours of just and the games you know are a move list. Hours long okay but i've heard that this version has some added content i don't know what Too it is because I, I don't i didn't spoil but if i'm playing it friday if i'm playing it monday and i'm playing it wednesday that's another nine hours so we'll be like 18 hours in i feel like so it didn't we'll fully right fully hit the mainstream yet though finished it. like we I didn't get the dsp playthrough right. of some game with a card system so we still got a little while ago. If you remember coming up, I want to say it's December 7th, Friday, so a week from this Friday, is Avatar uh, something, something, something Pandora. <laughs> Can't wait <laughs> to play it. Years of Pandora. I think that's what it is, something like that. Um, so yeah, so that's coming out that day, and yes, I'm playing that. I'm going to re re-subscribe to the I watched Microsoft a lady play that game. Service. So for 18 bucks, I'll get like access to the game. a month ago. She had the shield copy or something, man. Um, and then it looked what you it looked like what you would expect it to look like. It's pretty pretty generic. It's just it's a game. Whatever kind of completes next, you figure when Mario and then Avatar takes over for it. But then we'll see what's next. You think what will it be? Isn't that a three DS game? Okay. Um. So we'll see. We'll figure it out. But RoboCop is coming, and I will say this too. All right. I've been getting question. I've been seeing comments on my videos and stuff. People ask me, well, aren't you... Isn't that the bad Lord one, too? Hell no, you didn't play that. Lords of the Fall Everybody hates that game. Kind of a given, and now, it's not even in your schedule. You're not even talking about it. All right? So here's, here's my no, thoughts he didn't play on it. that. All right? I'm not against playing Lords of the Fallen, but it doesn't seem like there's been a consensus that people even want it. I think Lies of P was so outstanding. Oh, fucking... It was such a great game, you know what I mean? That now, people have, like, um have moved on. Like, when Lords of the Fallen came out, at first people were talking about it, but now people are not talking about it at all. Like, I haven't even heard anyone really mentioning it uh, in a long time, and it sure seems to me like any kind of hype around the game has died. He said the only people that were talking about it were talking about how it didn't run good and shit, and now he's completely just pretending that wasn't a thing, and now it's about the pop... We need to only play games that are popular. People need to be talking about them, like, in the streets no and shit. Like, there was, like, a couple weeks where there was typing, but people were talking about the graphics. I hate this. I hate when he do that. I hate when games need to be popular among the gaming community currently and everything for them to play them. I'm not against playing it, but nobody's talking about it except the people that ask for it. Fucking. So let it be known. Let this just be the go away, man. Call. If you want to see Lord's Fall, walk away. by all means, let me know. Just go to the bathroom and come back tomorrow. Now, also, I want to use this opportunity to remind you of the things that are going on right now in regards to special events, because this has been a... And then, like, I hate to keep bringing it up. I'm sick of fucking talking about Baldur's Gate 3 during the DSP restream. I, I'm tired of bringing that game up myself. But he can't play this game. Oh, no, not, not that he can't play it. He kind of don't want to play it. Because people are not talking about it within his community, within the gaming community. It's not relevant anymore. You know what game is? Fucking Baldur's Gate 3. When that game came out, well, when it came out fully, he said no one was going to be talking about it by the end of the year. And people still talking about it. People still writing articles about it. People still tweeting about it. People still streaming it. A lot of people still streaming it. People still watching it. People still making mods for it. People in the chat still talking about it. People still super chatting about it. People still tipping about it. And you're not playing it. A chaotic week where I haven't been able uh, to regular content. It's like the but most relevant really game ever. Things are going on. Number it's one, never going to go away. The 2023 special event will take place at the same time as my Game of the Year award and my disappointing Games of the Year countdowns, probably in early January. But this is an interactive event. I need to know from you, what were your favorite uh, playthroughs of this year? Okay? Not games. Like, what was your favorite Game of the Year? No, no, no. What were the favorite games I played? What was the playthrough that I created that you thought was the best one? That's what I want to know. Okay? So please share with me. How can you share? Type exclamation point, best of 2023 into the chat. It brings up the command, okay? And that brings up the link that you can click on. Or... This is my favorite right Starfield video. Channel ...from several days ago. Please post up there, all right? I need input. I need people to po vote or uh, nominate because there's going to be a vote later on this month. It's going to be like... This is my favorite Starfield video right here. here. Here's the thing, though, all right? Here's the thing. This is what a lot of people still don't understand. Right now, Baldur's Gate 3 is all the rage. Yeah. And it's all the rage for good reason. Everyone who's playing it on PC is saying it's one of the best RPGs ever made, yada yada. Ah, yes, However, PC gamers. It's a PC-centric RPG. what that mean? Baldur's Gate 3 is popular right now. That's right. But once Starfield hits, you're likely not going to hear anything about Baldur's Gate ever again. 
So ever you have to stop a game the bullshit and understand the way of reality. It doesn't matter stop if you live in your PC bubble. Become a reality, a reality based that's human. About, that's not reality. Baldur's Gate 3 could literally be the best game of the decade, and it's still not, not going to get as much attention as a game like Starfield. When I hear things like, oh, it was unfair that Xbox wasn't getting Baldur's Gate 3, but PlayStation is, you have to understand something. In one week's time, no one will be talking about Baldur's Gate 3 in the mainstream gaming media. It will as if the game never existed. Because all you're going to hear is Starfield, 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 Starfield. And then Lies of P, Mortal Kombat. And then when October hits, all those new releases that are consoles. You're not going to Mortal Kombat. You could tell what game he was trying to hype up. You could tell he was going to play Mortal Kombat soon, but he wasn't playing it yet. What a joke. He hated that game. Wrong. Even Bruh. if Starfield sucks ass, it's going to be Game of the Year contender. I kid you not. Even if it's a horrible, broken, buggy fucking mess of a piece of shit game, it will still be considered for Game of the Year. What a goat. Baldur's what an absolute goat. They're not going to get hyped for the game two, three months later. That's not how it works. You know what they say? You always have a... Uh, you only have one chance for a first impression. Baldur's Gate 3 gave its first impression, and that impression was, it's a PC game. You could disagree, but don't. I don't want to say I told you so at the end of this year. I really don't. All right? Oh, I'm yeah. happy that uh, Baldur's Gate 3 will be on Xbox. I don't I'm just want to not say convinced it. that anyone's really going to care about it by the time that it comes out on there. You know what I mean? Like I really don't think it's going to be a focus of any Xbox gamer. They're going to already be into this hundred other games that are coming out in the fall gaming season, no one's gonna go back and say, oh, hundred other games game. on Game no, Pass? Are they playing Blinks? Play other games. What hundred games? You need to have it come across all platforms or Wait a minute. Point. Huh? Hundred other games. Hundred other games. Two weeks I'll yeah. have this run, and then probably right. around mid-December, what I will do is I'll take the most nominated games, and I'll turn them into a poll, and you guys will vote, and that's gonna be the countdown that we're gonna do uh, during the year-end series. See, I used to do most uh, uh, fan favorite funniest moments, but that kind of fell by the wayside. That's a lot harder to do because you need people to be nominating individual moments and stuff, which could take a million years. So how many people watch all my content, and then you have to nominate? You know, it's, it's messier. Let's put it that way. This, I mean, everyone's watched a playthrough of mine this year that's on this channel, right? You wouldn't be on the channel if you didn't watch any content. So obviously you have a favorite. Everyone can nominate something. Please do. The more nominations, the better. I want to say right now we probably only have like 20 nominations. That's okay, certainly not enough to make the event work. So please nominate. Now, another thing. If you like my React content, obviously yeah. this week was a good week for you, because not only do we have the Abpocalypse Marathon back on Friday, and that was fun, but now we have the regular React Day that happened on Sunday, and new videos of that have been going live all week, and then we've got a food vlog going live on Friday. So lots of content over there on my, my React channel, DSP Reacts, that's youtube.com forward slash app, DSP Reacts, okay? If you're a member over there, which we have over 100 members over there, all right, I need you to help me to determine what to review in December. And what I mean by that is I'm going to be reviewing Christmas themed content. I'm going to be watching movies, specials, and things like that. DSP always needs help. Channel, like I review uh, horror movies over Halloween. I want to do the same thing for the month of December. Uh. But I need to know what you want to see me review. So please give me your feedback. It's a members only thread on that channel. So if you're a member, you can find it right in the members tab. Please post up there, and then when I get that feedback, probably starting next week, I'll begin to watch at least once a week something. Maybe more depends on time constraints and stuff. But uh, I want to start watching reviewing stuff there for you as well. All right. So that's the event going on now. Next week also, you're going to begin to be able to nominate stuff for me to. Uh, oh, Nominate games for me to play during the Christmas marathon. Every single year I do a Christmas marathon. This year's no exception. It's going to be Saturday the 23rd of December. I'll be in festive attire. I'll be drinking. I'll be having food. We'll be merry. And there's going to be games. Damn, we're going to be merry. That's not live yet. Actually, I asked yesterday. Okay, where am I not? No, I'm hyped. All right, that's coming this week. I don't want to bombard you with a million things to do at once. That's coming up this weekend. Basically, I'll put that up. And there'll be threads for you to do this stuff. Okay, so I hope that you will. All right? Fair enough. All right, that's everything that is going on right now. Now, obviously, because I started so late, we don't really have time for a million segments and things like that. Here's what I'm going to say. Please today support Money. streams if you can. Because of all this crazy stuff going on this week, there's been no consistency to my content, right? I'm behind on playthroughs now. Like, I literally lost about two streams. I lost the Modern Warfare 3 stream. No, I lost three streams. I lost the Modern Warfare 3 stream. The city's behind day. on playthroughs. yesterday's daytime That might be a prediction in. getting kicked off by this idiot. And then today, of course, because of what happened with me being all messed up in the head this morning, I didn't do my regular stream of Mario RPG. So I'm behind three oh, you didn't gameplay say getting streams, behind. And it screwed me all up, schedule-wise, and everything else. So I shouldn't today, have put quotes. please, if you like me and my content, please support it. There's many ways then you can have to do talk that. to the referees. You can engage with the content by liking the videos and streams. You can leave comments. Features, does video. this count? Talk as him talking about it? That's all well. Does this good. count? It helps a lot. Also, you can go above. You said get screen. behind. I think. That's Maybe um, got behind. That's that's like the same. Notice, look what happened again. What happened? So I have a day the members? That's the not point. A normal day. So no one joins as a member, and now we're down to 501 again, and we're on the edge of going below 500 members as a member. So I have a day yesterday that's not a normal day. So no one joins as a member, and now we're down to 501 again, and we're on the. He got 140 something dollars, 140 dollars on a first stream. Like, dude. The edge of going below 500 members again because of this. 
And again, Bruh. whose pro fault is this? It ain't yours. And yeah, he said he would be happy with 500. Remember, he was so, I'm going to be so happy if I hit 500, you guys. He gets 500 and I was like, oh my God, it's supposed to be higher than 500. It's actually 501. And he wants 510 and he acted like he's under 500 and he wants 500. It ain't mine. It ain't my fault. Because of this. No, wait, did he say that? Whose fault is this? It ain't yours and it ain't mine. Oh. If I was able to sit here and make constant... It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. This dude really said it ain't my fault. Like... It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. Normal did I do that? You like I should be able to. Hey, he got 100 likes. Had this dip. You know he blowing now bubbles by now. Because of this idiot. So please, Fuck this idiot. today, consider becoming a member. I'm considering. To your fellow viewer. I am not doing it. It would be a great way to help the channel. Of course, the final thing here is tips. Please consider right. gifting a sub to Almighty Tev and he's live on Twitch right now. And that's, again, not anyone's fault. It, normally, he has a great interactive sub goal store, to do a Walmart in real life it, trip. It screws it up. I yes, we should do that. How much, bro, right? if he did like an 800 sub sub goal to do one in real life stream, he'll get it. Please support the streams uh today in some way and then just never do it again you know, one tip, once in a lifetime event tomorrow you know i got groceries and everything that i got to do tomorrow in fact i got groceries and pet supplies i have to go to the pet store tomorrow there's some things that i'm low on now yeah huh how much cat food you eat dsp yeah so um <clears throat> please consider it thank you in advance to anyone who supports my streams now it's time to shout out those who have so we you begin today a lot of cat food with robbie pezos with a three-month uh membership notification there and uh, thank you, Robbie. Appreciate that. David Barclay did a five dollar super chat. He says they will take you serious when you talk about Comcast. If you file a police report in a civil suit in a small claims court, disclaimer: I am a lawyer in California. Well, there you go. All right. Uh, thank you, David. Snake, eleven months as a member. Thank you so much to Snake. X Shooter, eighteen months as a member of the channel. Thank you, uh, X Shooter. Sergio, twenty months as a member. It says, Hey Phil, what's going on, Sergio? Good to have you. Man, today. we got like uh, a Iris hype Tommy train. A two dollar super chat. Good for you, Phil. F your haters. Enjoy your vids. I don't even say F the haters. I don't care. Like this is the difference. Yeah, you do. Actually, you know what? I think that is the difference between old Phil and, and new Phil. Old Phil used to be like, just F the haters. Anyone who doesn't like me, F you. Right? That's what I used to say. And honestly, that's kind of why I reacted badly to things like, this is how you don't play and stuff like that. Today, it's kind of like, you go ahead and you do what you want to do. More power to you. Go for it. Just leave me out of it. Bro, this pre-stream, you told us that people that make fun of you shouldn't be allowed to fucking make content. And if they are, they shouldn't be allowed to monetize it. Like, come on, dude. What, what is this? What do you want to do? More power to you. More power to you, but I don't think you should be allowed to do it. More power to you, but I think you should be demonetized. More power to you, but I think what you do is illegal, Tevin. More power to you, but you're like a drug dealer down the street. Go for it. Just leave Go me for it, by the way. I just want to sit here and do my thing. Leave me alone. Like, don't I leave him out of it and leave him alone? And... That's what's important to me. Technically. Not all that nonsense. But he's still fucking people, bitch about it. All that back then. That was the old me. And now I don't care about that anymore. Just do it. Make the content. I don't give a shit. Leave me alone. You know what? In the way, in the way he did an equivalent of, uh, you know, that old rant. You, yes, you, you almost got me killed. If you ever made it, it's like, don't play about me. Whatever. That, that shit, he kind of did that today. Basically, he was like, yeah, the guy that did this, he did this because people make fun of me. And that led to this guy doing that. So no, not F the haters anymore. You got to read now, between the lines. Hey, haters, if you exist. Hey, I'm haters. For you. He's like Mano. So no, not F the haters anymore. Now, just, just hey, haters, if you exist, I guess good for you. Uh, if that's really how you feel, using your time is valuable to you in life, and you think you're getting something out of it, I guess go for it. I don't care. Leave me alone. And uh, have a nice life. G I remember Grim that. Ripper is here today. Grim Ripper, 25 months as a member, and says, Hey, stop by to say what's up. Well, it's good to see you here, Grim Ripper. I hope that your day's going all right. Um, no, you don't. You hope you have a bad day so you can come and complain about it. And you can say, Wow, man. And then complain about your day. My queue. King of suffering. Probably some kind of a weird delay because it happens. There's always, sometimes there's issues with delay on these. Um, so who was it? It was CJ Extreme 98 did a super chat. I said, Phil, I'm planning on becoming a member. I'm curious, have you reacted to a Smash Brothers documentary on YouTube? No, I have no. never seen. Is it going to be oh, dramatic? Look how delayed that was. Toxic. Um, I have never seen any kind of a documentary on Smash or Smash Brothers or anything like that. Um, 
Your order Certainly is delayed I've heard of things. and will now arrive right. between 521 and 536 p.m. In the Smash game. Oh. Huge controversies, horrible happenings, houses of gamers living Yeah, together multiple people have pointed this out things, without, like, talking to each other about it first. Part of that so it's totally I've real. Really His hairline has dramatically so, changed in the last week. About that. Like the Obama last week. Phone Pro Max 5G? Uh... Okay, Obama phone <laughs> Pro Max 5G. Uh, then a super chat that says, buy a hat that says, I love my haters. Uh, no, I will not do that. But, uh, no, uh, Obama, you don't want to buy any hat. Obama phone. If a, if, a, if a troll or a viewer or a fan buy it, he'll wear it. I'm just going to say Obama phone because it's pretty long to put all that other crap on there, right? There other crap. Okay. Oh, Obama phones are real? Yeah, what stupid. Your parents got one. What? What's up, Jade? Good to see you here today. Yeah, Obama phones off. are actually might have real, one. people are telling me. What, are, what the hell's an Obama phone? What is context? Come to the conclusion on your own. Obama made a phone? Someone named Obama. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Let's yep. continue. Anyway. I hope you never um, get the follow up. I hope you ignore people that correct them. I got a ten dollar tip from Declan. He said, "I'm sorry you have to go through so much over the last couple of weeks. You crazy people trying to take you down. I'm impressed how you push through it. You give inspiration to your fans that follow you. I enjoy positive change. I hope you will keep up the great work." Thank He's not an inspiration. Thank you very much, Declan. I appreciate that sentiment. He could be. I'm being too support. negative. And I believe. Hold on. Give it the negative spin. He's an inspiration on how to not act, or something like that. Oh yeah, Declan said an additional dollar email that was more like chatter behind the scenes about stuff. So thank you, Declan. He's an inspiration so on uh, uh, when to shave uh, your head ball or wear a beanie all day. So actually, this is up to 11. He's an inspiration on how to not burp in the mic. And then... I don't know if that's how inspirations work. You better take a sip. A free cell phone people can't afford cell phones. I'm sorry to hear you injured your hand. Oh, Remember, that really sucks. I hope that your hand does. Your hand is better. Really 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 I hope we get to heal fast. Gabriel says, Barack Obama had a social media phone. Still, he's going to use a phone. Yeah, but 5G Pro Max sounds pretty pretty ritzy for someone to get a free phone. Sounds like, you know. 5G Pro Max sounds ritzy, according to DSP. I received... This dude is a marketing like maniac. 5G Pro Max sounds ritzy. It sounds like an expensive phone. Let's hear, let's hear what my one minute man got to say. How stupid is he gonna be today? Is he gonna be full dunce or like mini dunce? Is he gonna have a big hat or a little hat? First of you, one minute man, thank you. And he has a message with a lot of information in it, actually. Yes, thank about you. About various different topics. Oh wow, love it. Love it. Various it's topics. Where the hell's the animation? This is like Game Tracker, but not. <laughs> there it is. Come All on, right. come on, 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 come on. So thank you very come much. On, come on, come on, come on, come on. Any minute now. Come on, come on, come on. By the way, you can tell how much you care about what these people have to say. We do so much bullshit before reading it, Bruh. How was my Thanksgiving? My Thanksgiving went well. What? Here on Thanksgiving. Did he read it? How was my <laughs> screwed up? What so happened? Class this time, by the way. Minute man for a fifty dollar tip, and I'll read you what he had to say because he had a bunch to say. Huh? It is gonna class this time, by the way. Which we will do today. Oh. I wasn't really doing anything because it was a hell of a day. It wasn't a normal oh. day. Right? It was all screwed up. Today we can go back to normalcy somewhat. <clears throat> okay. So glasses. How was my Thanksgiving? My Thanksgiving went well, Grim Ripper. Uh, good food. Relaxing vibes. I did have a stream here on Thanksgiving. That went really well. This is him responding to a fifty dollar tip from a dude that gave him twenty dollars, twenty five dollars every day for like months. He ain't even read it yet. All right, so one minute, man. This what the fuck is wrong with this dude? I appreciate that. Out of respect for members, don't confuse spamming the chat with trying to tell you something important. So mm. interesting. that's interesting. Because yeah, I know. Yeah, is that there's been some people who've. Been what kind of bullshit is this, bro? Who are you trying to police? Is he trying to police DSP or DSP's community? The dude who is actually too scared to talk in the chat? By the way, don't get it twisted. The dude who's too scared to talk in chat is trying to police people? Who are you? Where are you from? Been spamming. Because I guess what he's getting at. Huh? Who so, you, do you like Derek one minute, man, or what? Who are you defending? Guess what he's getting Let's at. Let's see this again. Out of respect for members, don't confuse spamming the chat with trying to tell you something important. So, What's important? That's how to beat a game? Because I guess what he's if it's stream lagging? Some people. Who if some celebrity died? The chat. 
with stuff, but then other people have been trying to actually get my attention for important stuff. And like, sometimes it can get confused or lost in the shuffle. See, I don't know sure. if this is a criticism of me or a criticism uh, of people who spam, or is it a criticism of both? It really yeah, one minute, man. Tip again honest, and tell us. It's hard. What you trying to talk when about, I'm, man? When I'm one dude sitting here. Who you should know, yeah. And there's a lot going on, right? Like, a stream like yesterday. Look, DSP's being defensive. See, I don't know if this is a criticism of me. See? I don't know if you're criticizing me or you. Or criticism of people who spam. Yeah, me or neither. Or is it a criticism of both? It really could be. Because I'll be honest, it's hard. When I'm when I'm one dude sitting here. And one minute, man? On, right? Like, a stream like yesterday, right? Oh. Where here, I'm, I have a, an audience of over a thousand people on stream yesterday. I had a ton of people on my stream yesterday. Yeah, but what about every other stream where you have 300 people? You know, one minute, man. It's not only talking about just yesterday, right? Come on, bro. He know that. Everybody, anybody with common sense, no one minute man isn't talking about yesterday. Right? It's very, very what hard the fuck? to keep track of who's who, what's what, who's saying yeah. what, what's But what about today? Well, you don't right? have a thousand views. And there were or tomorrow or any night stream. They were trying to get my attention and tell me this and tell me that. Mark and it them. was too hard to do because there were so many people. And, you know, even, you know, I know there were some members who were trying to get my attention about stuff. And it, at one point, you got to understand that, again, I'm one dude. And then this one dude excuse, bro, most streamers are one dude. Like, oh, okay. And then on top of that, don't he have a bunch of mods? Well, he kind of don't. But if Why they I showed up, could they could tell him that people are talking to him or trying to talk to him. Twenty cents. You should make a, oh, I see a mod. Yeah, OMM, please specify. Hey, Tommy, got the Dracos <laughs> ready. Better look out, OMM, ak, ak, ak. He gonna yell at one minute man and then he gonna tip again and say he apologized. But DSP got let's pretend he have mods that show up to every stream. His mods could help him read the chat. Hey Phil, this guy is saying something important. Uh you should scroll up and check it. I can only do so much and I can do my best. I'm one man. I'm perfect. You know, I wish I were I were perfect or I were better and I would be able to do this a better way. But you yeah, know, I bet you, you do. You wish for a lot. Are, Spamming the same message in chat 10, 20, 30 times. Derek. You would think that by the 30th time, I probably. Actually, probably just probably Derek. Why I'm not responding. Whether just I Derek. Just it's valid or it's something I don't want to talk about or I don't understand what the hell you're saying, right? Like whatever it could be. That's a lot of different reasons, man. Um, Maybe you should narrow it down. There's also people who absolutely come in here and they literally spam a million times to try to get. Literally a million. Get my attention and it's kind of annoying and everyone knows that, right? I've already. I've already specifically talked to Derek about it. And nice. I'm glad he's bringing him up. He said, you got to calm down a bit, you know, and if and he, he didn't listen, because he is one of the people, everyone calls him out for doing it, but there's others too. There's like who? Who, like who? They, oh, like who? Like who? Like who? Like who? Until Phil says good night to me. Like, like, huh? like, like, I'll try. If you say, hey, I'm out of here. Good night. I'll try to say good night to you. We've had but this rant before, DSP. If I'm in the midst and of something going on, I might miss went it. Went back on it. You don't have to sit around. He still say good night to these same people. Could go man and shit. He still do it. You can leave. You know, uh, everyone has a life here. I get it. You know, so there, there's different situations. There's things that I screw up on, but I do feel that sometimes the spamming gets out of hand too. I'm glad that it was brought up. Mm -hmm. See, One final thing he says, also cell, power, cell phones yeah. use cellular towers, not satellites. You're right. I miss, I don't know if I misunderstood or I misspoke. I like One Minute Man just correcting him with $50 tips. Let me open my window, not satellites. You're right. I miss... I don't know if I misunderstood or I misspoke. Let me Funny. open my window, by the way, because I think... The and now we're going to go open a window. That's funny. Okay, so... Yeah, I liked it when one minute man didn't two. talk, and I'm pretty sure DSP did, internet. too. Satellite internet implies you have, like, a dish or a device that needs a clear view of the sky. And He's got to make himself right, internet. even though he wrong. He's cell gotta say cell some cell weird shit. Pignosis. That's on the ground, and that's broadcasting the signal over the land, and you Nobody's that listening to this, signal, man. And that's the strength of that signal, or whatever, is dependent on a lot of different factors. But in general, the cell phone internet is stronger and or better than satellite internet. Satellite internet is able to reach more rural areas and other places because of the amount of satellites that are up there. But the cell phone internet, when you can get it, hopefully, it's stronger, right? I've had cases in my life where I've had a really good cellular connection on my phone. Like when I lived in Connecticut, it was so weird. If I remember, I started off with one cell phone company, and I had them for several years during my like teen years and early twenties, and I always had very spotty reception with it, like very spotty reception, and. I don't know why. Then I decided to change providers, and immediately I had perfect cell phone service at home. And I'm like, this is night and day. And I'm paying the same amount to so a different company. They must have better towers, or you know what I mean, in my area. It must just be overall better reception. They have better uh, coverage in the area. So I kept it. And, ooh, uh, excuse me. And then when I moved, 
across the country, I found that the reception out here was nowhere as good, but then I actually found out that all cell reception in my area isn't that good because I actually live at an elevated, a weird elevated area. Like I live at the top of a very large hill where everything is more elevated. Right near me down the street is a big dip that goes all the way down this hill and they call that the valley. So I'm way, for some reason, because I'm elevated, the cell phone service isn't as good. I know it sounds weird because you think for more elevated, why isn't it better? I agree, but it actually isn't that good. So, you know, it doesn't matter what provider I have, <coughs> I'm constantly getting like two bars of service on my phone. So when, I, when I'm actually home, I try to do everything through the internet. You know how you can do that? You do everything through the internet when you're home. And then when you're out, that's when you use your cell service to do stuff on your phone. I try to always go through the internet at home. Even though I have the cell service I pay for, it's just not that good. Um, and there's not much I can really do about that from what I've seen. Like I try to do things. And, what the fuck is he talking like about? I said, I have a 4G, full 4G backup modem. Right, that right now, full 4G. Chat, I can see your chat right now. That's what I'm using, just in case my internet went down. So far, it didn't. So, you might, so now, I've been streaming for an hour. You gotta wonder, is this guy done? Did this guy get fired today? Who's messing with my internet? Cause he didn't mess with it at all, or was he off today? He didn't have the ability to mess with it anyway, right? Like, what is it? I don't know. I have no idea. So now I gotta wonder, right? Or is he gonna come back or not? But anyway, I had the backup device working, so I could talk to you guys if the internet went down. And like I said, this dude is so dishonest. See your chat right now. That's what I'm using, just in case my internet went down. So far, it didn't. So you might. So now you, well, I've been streaming for an hour. You gotta wonder, is this guy done? Did this guy get fired today? Who's messing with my internet? Cause he didn't mess with it at all, or was he off today? He didn't have the ability to mess with it anyway. Right? Like, what is it? I don't know. I have no idea. I thought they were going to get to the bottom of it today. And today was going to be like the end of it. The big payoff was going to be today. He was going to go to work and like crash out. Or he was going to get fired and DSP was going to be notified of it today. And now we don't know again. We don't know what's going to happen again. So now we got to wonder. Now we got to wonder. But anyway, I had the backup device working. So I could talk uh. to you guys. The internet went down. And... Like I said, that thing is terrible. The reception is awful. I was like, when I was downloading Alan Wake, it would go from like 10 megabyte per second download to below one, like 0.00, .00 I, trickle speed. I, I then it would go high and then it would go low and then it would go high and then it would go up and down like this, like a bouncing rubber ball. That's what the, the, the connection's like on that thing. Guy. So it's the same thing. Like, I think that if he, I, I, the reception ain't that good out here. That's like I said, if I were to get rid of Comcast and get a competitor, there's only three things out here that I can get Comcast, Starlink, or one of the cell phones that happen. And I'm not going to that the cell phone internet would be good because right now the phone is just bad. So what makes me think that the internet will be good? You know what I'm saying? You want to get gold on It's tail time. And look what happens. Um, I received it. done? Okay, he done now. Jade, that's cool. He doesn't really care about Starfield. He's gonna stick Please do. We don't have much left in Starfield anyway. Okay. Wow. So, this is a giant story from King B. Cruel. King B. Cruel took me $2.50 and has a giant story to tell. Great. They should have booted up a stream. Giant story. He says... It's about his life. We're gonna make it about DSP. Uh... Phil, I'm not sure if I let you know I'm officially a father. Congratulations on that. That's a huge congrats. Big ups, congrats. The DSP should take a shot for him. Huge change in lifestyle. Yeah, right. I bought a PlayStation Portal. It has been a godsend. I carry. They bought I it for the baby. On a baby carrier near my chest. That's interesting. Uh, I constantly move to keep. I see. What he's saying is he has one of those baby carriers. You put the baby on your chest and you walk around. And as you walk around, it keeps the baby moving so the baby gets calm. I see. Gotcha. And he says, with the PlayStation Portal, I can game while I move around my house. People say, why don't use your phone? Having the PS controller grip is way better. My Wi-Fi connection is amazing. Sorry this is so long. Stay up, bro. Um, I'm glad you're working. That was a long message to you, DSP? An original concept whatsoever. The PlayStation Portal what? idea is actually based on the PS. That Vito. wasn't though. PSP, That's a, that wasn't a long and story. And it whatever. Flopped, and it didn't sell well, and the games aren't that good, and it died within like three, four years of being out. And now it's completely dead, defunct. The idea of anyway. the PS Vita was that it was also supposed to be a remote play device for your PS4. Uh, and this is meaningless. House, it's just them talking about some video game shit. It did work, just not well. I know because I tried it. I actually had it set up, and Cat was going to use it in the house here. We had a PS4. All right, yeah. We were just doing it remotely. You could walk through the house and play it. It was awful. It was seriously terribly bad. And the funny part about it is you say, oh, that's because your wireless reception was bad in your house. This fucking now, teenager that lived with him, man. He's just trying to find ways for to play video, 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 video games all day. I can watch high quality video. I can, I can do whatever I need to do on there. So it's not that. It's that the thing just wasn't good enough. You know, with its technology or whatever, it just wasn't good. Um, it was. It would, what would happen is the game would start and immediately it would start. Yeah, he's like, playing like, games when he's walking shit, around. Freeze, is he playing like Genshin Impact or something? Oh, connection, you know, connection disrupted. Connection disrupted. And then it'll come back. He's playing match threes with like hentai ladies. Yeah, you could. In fact, excuse me. Remember I told you guys that at one point. I was grinding uh, Bloodborne on there, right? I told you that I was doing it on Bloodborne, and I was grinding at the, the school. Remember, if you go to the school, uh, you can fight the the, uh, the goo monster people or whatever. The students are like made of goo, and you can grind in there for a good the amount goo. of blood echoes or whatever they're called. So I actually did that a couple nights. I would grind at night playing on the Vita, and I would gain the blood echoes so I could use it in the next day's stream. So I don't do that kind of stuff anymore. But that's what I used to do. I used to just like grind overnight and stuff. So, oh, <clears> oh, so yeah, it worked. But what happens? All of it would drop. Oh, I just died. have to wait, 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 and sometimes it would come back to be dead because creatures kill me. But the stupid thing dropped in the middle. Like this is fun to play. So I gave up on oh, so what I'm trying to understand is working really well. Like it sold tons, and I guess a lot of people like the quality. Saying, well, I guess what they did is they took the idea of that remote play from the Vita and they improved it. So now it works well. And that's good to hear. That's very oh, good. Oh man. Locked to your TV to play your console. You know, sometimes you're in the middle of a heated gaming session, but you gotta take a shit. And you're like, well, I don't want to let my teammates down, right? I mean, we're in the middle of this crazy campaign. You know, I can't not play. You can't pause in the middle. So I gotta go take a shit. You're so you pop on your PS4. Right? And we're taking a shit. You sit down, and while you're launching a Counter Strike offensive in the game, you're also launching. We're launching a shit. Launching turds. And, you know, something cool. torpedoes. You're shooting, off you're shooting off here and you're shooting off down there too. That's really cool. Shooting like, off down there. Okay, unload right there in your toilet. Great. Shoo
of, you know, sinker torpedoes. <laughs> and, you know, it's pretty cool. You'd be doing, you could be shooting off a two, you're shooting off here and you're shooting off down there too. That's a really cool concept. I like this concept. You can unload in the game and unload right there in your toilet. It's great. He noted shooting off wasn't a good one. So we have to go, go with the unload. So, uh, I can't see it's funny at least King B. Cruel had a legit reason for it he's like I walk around with my Slater baby and I get to play the game arm. but I get to also get the baby to get calm I'm like oh that's a good use for it I didn't think about that the only thing I would do is take a shit and play the games while I shit maybe I'll play Street Fighter oh dude imagine that imagine you're dumping a 50% I don't even want to ask I'm not asking fake questions on this. as you're dumping like a 5 pound dump at the same time that yeah. would be impressive that actually I, I want to try that right but sadly, the PS portals sold out everywhere. It's sold Maybe out, you like, can get a Steam Deck, the so thing that you kind of want. Why so, would you pretend to want anyway, this? Why would you even you. pretend to want this product? Imagine You're not going to review it. That's true. Richard uh, won one, but that's because he want to review it and make a video about it. The fuck would okay. DSP do with it? Just, Just complain about what it can do? And, continue and not even actually make content off it? All right, I think at this point... You end in a free stream? We have called out everything fine, everything's good. Right? Don't pretend to do q and Is DSP versus the internet still business as usual? Why would DSP versus the internet not be business as usual? Because you complain about it all the time and say it's not doing good. What do you mean by that? Because what, you what, bitch what, about it all the time right? and say Why it's unsuccessful, it basically. What's wrong with that show? What's wrong with the show is that you always complain about it not doing good. Every time you Can boot I up the stream. Down the snow? I don't what think the I hell? have the ability to change the, the, the speed of the snowfall on the Yeah, floor. you do. You just Sorry. don't know how to. I think I might be able to change the color. Hold on. You actually don't know how to do anything. Let me see here. If it's a media file, you can Filter. easily slow down or speed it up. Like, come on. Don't act like you can't do it because you don't know how to do it. But I understand. Oh, you know how I got a chroma key on it. That's how it looks like that. Oh, I don't want to mess with it. I don't want to Like, look at Mario. I break it. Look how fast he's going. Oh, it's the chroma key. That's why it's transparent. Yeah, I don't want to mess Guess with that. Guess what? I'll fuck it up. You can slow him down. Uh, no, I'm just going to. Now look how fast he's blinking. Okay. <clears throat> I still have a t I still have a tickle from time to time in my throat. Yes, it's still very annoying. Okay. <clears throat> still Jasper sick. is good. He's being his usual silly self. Uh, Breaking shit. This morning, no exaggeration. Oh this morning, fuck, no exaggeration. He actually cuddled with me in bed for a little bit. Probably he can tell you don't feel good. And he was he was being very nice. So yeah, he okay. could tell you didn't feel good. Yes, I have no idea when Elden Ring will return, but eventually we will go back to it. What's funny about this is okay. We played Elden Ring much earlier this year with the impression that we really all thought, me included, that the DLC was coming out this year. I thought for sure the Elden Ring DLC was going to come out by the end of 2023. And now here we are. Jasper uh, knew I was in a bad mood. He wanted to cuddle are, with his and dad. It's been, uh, about to be December, and we got nothing. However, the Game Awards are coming up on the 7th, correct? So maybe that's Hello, the Jasper. Kitty. Actually the bomb you want to cuddle, buddy? During Summer Game Fest. So maybe it would be the Game Awards. You're going to, you know, drop the bomb about this DLC. I don't know. <clears throat> drop the bomb in a no, we're toilet? No, we determining factors about playing a Bethesda playthrough next year. We're not doing that right now. We're not, not concerned with it, so. He's playing the Bethesda game today, right. and he's going to rage at it. I can't wait. What brand is this red shirt I'm wearing? Take a wild guess. <laughs> and by the way, it's not a shirt. It's a sweater, actually. But it's um that special technology or whatever. It's a Uniqlo. It's a sweater, actually. Special it's technology. Oh, I think it is. Cashmere? Uniqlo. I don't know how to look like it. I think it's a cashmere sweater or whatever. But it's very nice. It's K-pop singer clothes, man. It's very it is, but it's really warm. Excuse me. No, we have a late stream tonight. It's like a dragon guy in usual time, 6.45 p.m. He's wearing, like, thin boy clothes. And then we're going to jump in and finish Starfield, okay? <laughs> Do I believe E3 will ever make a comeback? Uh, I don't think so. I think, if anything, the entire industry has spoken. They don't want E3 back. There was a time when E3 had a place and was a very momentous cultural thing in gaming. But everything went digital, everything went to the internet. E3 tried to go in the direction of becoming a paid-for convention for fans mm. to make profit rather than staying the industry <coughs> event for information on new games. And when they lost their way, it became a different that's event. Kinda so that's kind of unfair to say that the industry has spoken. And no one even wants to see it back. What's the point? Did the industry speak about, okay, all of the restaurants and shit that went away that DSP liked, the ones that went away when COVID got bad and never came back, did the industry speak against those and say, we don't want those restaurants? No, they just fucking didn't come back because they stopped being successful because of a thing and they couldn't come back after the thing. Yeah, because remember back then, again, it was very hard. What a bastard. Information about video. Whatever. It wasn't like today, the industry the spoke. Digital release with their own trailer and website full of info. Fuck the industry. And give them information. Now you got in depth. I thought we were a little guy. I thought we wanted to be underground. Fuck the industry. They ain't speaking for me. All the new tech, all the new games, all the new information about all that. Bunch of journalists that we supposed to pretend to hate. We getting spoke for by them. 
you already have it. Like, what was the purpose they of the voice of the voiceless now? Really, when we all knew it jumped the shark was when they were presenting The Last of Us 2, and this has nothing to do with the game, it has to do with the oh, presentation. Fuck. You remember? It's Sony had everyone in, in like this, this really, bro? Game, but they're like, oh, for The Last of Us 2, we want to move you across the street to a barn. Huh? So everyone had to get up and leave and cross the street and go into this other room for a presentation to introduce The Last of Us 2. And it took, do you remember how long it took? It was, I believe, 15 to 20 Yeah, they were trying to be like deep and cinematic. They had nothing to do. It was so stupid. And then Obviously, this killed E3. The last of us two, they had that scene where Ellie and what's her name are together, and I guess they're kissing or something, and this one freaks out. I guess they're kissing or something. What's his name? Uh, Joel Dude, over. you complained in the chat about it. Place, but it doesn't make sense. Why did the audience have to move into a room that looked like that barn to see that? And so it just kind of showed. There was no because the barn was real in the game, and they wanted you to be in the real barn in real life. He understands why they did that, and he acting like he don't. And he's pretending like he don't remember what happened too. Really lame. But it looked like a movie set when you walked inside this booth that they created to show off the game. And you sit down in that immersive atmosphere, and you play the game for like ten minutes, and you get to see the gameplay. You're hyped for it now, right? I get it. But you know what's funny? Isn't it ironic? You know what's funny? And then wait for the punchline. Isn't it ironic? He's complaining about this E3 presentation stopping halfway through and making people go across the street to watch the rest of it. You mean like how when we leave DSP Gaming and go to DSP Reacts and we listen to music for 25 minutes before he boot the stream up again? That's the equivalent of crossing the street. He's crossing the fucking street on the internet and it take him 25 minutes to do it. Again, DSP takes a fucking L. He's shitting on them doing this at a presentation once. Here. Once, one E3 presentation where they made people cross the street and go in a different building. What the fuck? DSP takes 25 minutes to make people switch YouTube channels. They're not even physically moving. So guess who went again? The trolls. The common person can't see it. You're not a common person. person. And did it really matter? Did it help the game? No. I really game release everyone hated it. Picture this. Hated. You run a sandwich so, shop all it is, and you, you decide to make people go to a different sandwich shop God, you to eat bro. your pumpernickel you bread sandwich. But does it really matter? Does it infect the games at all? Does it even properly represent the games that they're showing off? Probably not. And it doesn't really affect it because by the time that they came up, it could still be panned and You know, it doesn't, it's all for naught, really. I think at one time it was neat needed because the press, again, the games media were the people who relayed this information to the public. So if you went to E3 and you had a crazy good time at E3, you're like, wow, I was blown away by the display, this game looked good, you'd probably be urged to go buy the game. But today, why do you judge to buy a game? Because you already saw a video of it, it's already on the internet, you already saw behind the scenes coverage, you saw maybe a streamer play, and now you go get the game. It's not because, oh, because a journalist was at E3 and told me it was good. So the days of E3 having any real meaning are gone. You know, things change with time, things evolve and change. Everything went full digital, E3 didn't change with the times, and now it's completely obsolete. Now you got Summer Games Fest, which is literally E3 digital, and Jeff Keighley rolling in money because he thought to do that while E3 wasn't there, right? E3 there totally changed with the Fort times. Super chat saying that this, this red sweater with glasses looks good. It's a good look. There you go. Well, thank you for the $10 super chat. Like, dude, this DSP, like, actually don't know a lot about E3. To say it didn't change with the times, look up the original, 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 original E3s. You can barely even watch them. They were basically, like, half private, and they were in tiny-ass little rooms. You can, uh, you can hear, like, uh, what's that guy's name? Bethesda Man? You can hear people like Bethesda Man. And maybe Ed Boone talk about it. Like, yeah, I remember when E3 was new. It was like just a hallway with some offices. And we would like go from room to room and talk. And it became what it became. And then it became this thing that people watched on the internet, by the way. And DSP's like, they couldn't continue to thrive and be successful even during COVID. So therefore, no one wants it anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry they didn't have a vest streak going on during COVID, man. Sorry they couldn't be successful like you during COVID, you fucking bastard. Okay, so everyone, I would like to thank you all for understanding. So garbage. It took me so long to get here today. You don't know anything about E3, man. Talking about they didn't, they didn't uh, move with the times or whatever. That shit not true. That is just not true. Right now, it looks like we're going to dip again. And again, no one's fault. because all this bullshit going on. I can't consistently make content for you. And it screws everything up. So if you could, uh, you know, support in one of those ways, I would appreciate it. Thank you for understanding why I was late. Thankful to my wife for getting my ass out of bed so I have a non-depressive day today. And uh, let's finish Starfield. I'm actually very excited to finish it and tell you about my thoughts about it and being able to finally end this and have it out of the rotation, okay? So thank yeah, you all. Yeah, the pin message, Drew. I'm never going to lie in a pin message. Somehow I got through it without... He posted that to his down, YouTube page. So do you think that this That's is... That's a direct quote. I didn't change anything. Luck. He didn't stream know, earlier because he was depressed. He had a big speech about it. It I was actually the entire stream. Tomorrow, but when I come back on and uh, he's about to start playing a game now. So now we're going to act like we see. never talked about what we talked Stay about. Warm. Don't because that's what we're doing. Like, that's what we're actually going to do. Peace out. This whole speech that happened today, we're going to act like we didn't even do it. It's done. Okay. It's over now. It's all in the Let's past. Set up to start, everybody. We are going to all in the past. Right into it here today. Um, because... I'm late, and we have an hour, which is. And great. then he's that playing a game that he didn't even say he would right play. Right now, anyway. Oh, uh, dude. Oh, I didn't even turn on my console. 
Oops. Yeah, he's only gonna stream for like an hour and a half. If I turn the console on that we were going to of gameplay, right? Oh, that'd be a that's package. interesting. All right. I kind of well, didn't think about that. I'm just gonna take a very brief uh, break to to use the restroom. Sure. And then we're gonna start. All right. Sound good, everybody? Here, let's get this set up. Let's get my camera the right size. And by the way. Super duper credit goes out to Kat, my wife, because she's the one who recommended this. She's like, since you're starting so late today, why don't you just do finish Starfield? I was like, that is an insanely good suggestion. So I'm very glad that she suggested it. Hope she understands how much of a positive influence she is on my life because she's very smart and she suggests very good things, right? Okay. <clears throat> wow, thank you, Kat, for being so cool. Okay. All right. So real fast, like I said... I'm going to uh, use the restroom. I'll be right back, and then we'll begin. I'll be right back. Alrighty, everyone. Are you ready to see the end of Starfield? I'm ready to finish this fucker right now. This thing, 44 hours, right? And we're skipping half the content because the plot is so bad at this point. <laughs> I'm ready to see it end. I think it's time to finish this, right? Juzant is a puzzle platforming game. You climb up a huge tower and discover more about the story as you climb to the top. Maybe I don't nod Life is Strange devs. Oh, I didn't hear about this game at all. I heard nothing about it, right? <clears throat> All right. Cool. Why did he come back reading a message about a random game? Only to say he never heard about it like that mean anything? 
All right. He hasn't heard about 90 yeah, fucking percent of every game that ever came out. Came out in October? Oh, no wonder. No wonder no one knows about it, right? No one knows right, about guys, it. What about the dude that just brought it up in your chat? Right now. I've had enough. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's play some fucking Starfield. This is Cat's fault, by the way. He blamed Cat. Now, <coughs> you ca you start, caught that earlier? Of course. Cat was like, oh, honey, you should play <laughs> Starfield. Course. What the fuck? Thank you, Cat. The intelligent human. Okay, here we go. Okay, everybody. This is it. It's the, the conclusion to Starfield. We're about to finish the game right now. Alright? Let's see how it happens. See how Very negative solid. he is? Well, it's okay. We gotta redo it. Ready to kill each other for the artifacts. As always. Stop being choppy, stupid. I'm sorry it's come to this. There we go. Immediately he's calling okay. his electronics stupid. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. <coughs> so, we're gonna try to persuade them, alright? Maybe we can persuade them and not have to fight them. I guess we're about to find out. Uh, what's up, you? More talking. I'm a little disappointed there. <coughs> now, I want to hear this. Of course you do. Fine. So, I have three turns to hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight persuasion. So, you might have unity, but eternally now you will live. There has to be some version of you that's more reasonable. Maybe T enjoys movies. If you're universe to fight, let's let this one see some peace. I'm sure we can work something out. Mm hmm. Do you threaten? Do you joke? I don't think joking is gonna work with the hunter. So I think the joke would not work. I don't think this would work either. So this is peaceful, joking, threaten, or I guess this is like right reason. So yeah, so this is like ra ra rational thought and, or, or kind of peaceful reason, joking or threat. I think that he might respond to a threat. I think our odds are pretty good. I don't. We can end the cycle of revenge, all three of us. The power of will create mm -hmm. for getting to the unity will be worse. Well, now there's no way to do it, right? You could have attacked me already. Some piece of each of you wants to let go of the artifacts. I'm nothing if not open-minded. Haha! <clears throat> Letting someone else enter the unity is an act of faith. You need to believe in humanity again. A better future. <clears throat> ah! I did it! Huh. It's the same thing twice, though. <clears throat> I don't know about either of you, but it's been a while since I felt this old. Huh. At least this once. Here, take the artifacts. Before I come By the way, I was holding on to that ride, and if it failed, I was gonna fight them. But I guess I did it. <clears throat> wow. I didn't have to fight them at all. I didn't have to fight them at all. Dude, I love Starfield. This game's great. There's a very loud chopper in my house, I don't know why. Very loud. Here it is. <clears throat> did I just up twice? I think I did. I think I can take two levels. <laughs> anyway, uh, <clears throat> wait, why am I getting all these items? Sam Co. liked that? What did you like? You talk to your friends before you leave. Coming up on the end of a long ride here. We got all the artifacts. Are you ready for what comes next? Wish I was eating on the tree frog right now. We have to risk it, it's what we do. I'm worried I won't lie. I've had enough of looking at your ugly mug, cowboy. Wow. It's alright, insult his looks. I mean, obviously, it's supposed to be a joke, right? <clears throat> oh, by the way, I frostbite. That's nice. Um, by the way, in the meantime, I just received a $5 tip. Uh, from D Dog. D Dog says, Can we go back to Call of Duty and get back on a tear? Uh, hope that your internet gets fixed. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully it is fixed as of today. I guess we're going to find out. But uh, <clears throat> thank you very much. The $5 tip D Dog. As much as I enjoy having you around. Okay, cool. Alright, so. Uh, we have to risk it. It's what we do. I know. <clears throat> Just brace It's what we do. Hey, listen, uh, you're probably wondering about Cora. I played it over my head a thousand times and I made up my mind. What? She's coming away. You're going to. What? I know what I was going to say, but <clears throat> I don't know. She'll find some way. I'm going to that ship. If we stay behind. When did I ever offer Sam to come with me? Right? When did I say that? I never said that. I never offered to have him come with me. But if we get split up, she'd be all alone. I know. I... I know. <clears throat> I don't think so. I should have both of us stay behind. If we did that... You guess I'm inside. No! <laughs> That's, That's ridiculous! Some people might wonder what kind of mother <clears throat> I am. For, for bringing her along. But you, you came from a shot at eternity. I always earned this. So I hope you understand why I wanted for her. I might have missed. What the heck? I don't know about this, man. I don't know about this at all. I never even offered that he could come with me. I literally never offered that. The game is automatically doing that, which is really stupid. <laughs> By the way, should you be able to stick your shit? I guess not, right? I don't get it. Oh my god. He, just I he got to enough money to put on a hat. Would have been automatically offered. Oh, wait, he didn't blow bubbles. This dude got 100 likes during a pre stream. What are we doing? Where are we going now? Uh, whatever. These dumb things. Let's see. Uh, I love the twice. Look, we love the bubble blow. DSP told us so. Talk to your friends before you leave. We still have four days for the, uh, what is it, the grieving or whatever? For, uh, I can't remember his name. What was his name? 
Ah, what the hell is his name? I forgot his name. Why we only have two hats for the voting lottery? Okay, which Barry? festive hat oh, is like Starfield best? We're gonna, We're gonna miss the uh, memorial service, I guess, huh? What's funny also is we have all of these. Thank God they're not voting Santa hat. We just saw that. So what are Santa these? Santa hat. <laughs> are these just other other fragments you can get, and they give you powers or something, right? I guess that's what it is. Completely optional. I mean, I should talk to them all one more time, right? What just happened? I wanted to do this, and look what happened. <coughs> Excuse me. Are they all in? Are they all in the ship? To talk to? I'm joking. Freaky <laughs> professor did a super chase. Is another thing you survive on the way for what comes next? Yeah, that's how life works, right? It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ongoing survival track, I guess. Uh, uh. We did it. We have all the artifacts. We did it. Hold on a second here. We, there's a we involved here. It was me. I did it. You just stood on the ship. Where is everybody? Here we go. Wait a minute. What did she have about the janitor? Hello. And why didn't she ever wash her face? Welcome back. Personal questions. Make it quick. Look. There's nothing to talk about with the artifacts. How do you feel about your career change and why don't you ever wash your face? Good. <clears throat> Letting someone else do the worrying has given me time to process my husband's death. I come to terms with the fact that nothing I do can bring him back. Once that sank in, I commissioned the memorial to be constructed for Manuel. The closure and because he was never given a proper burial, he was built on the asteroid before we first met. I wanted it there. <coughs> testament to our happy memories. I like knowing that we were Thank you for the alert, Spanky Joe. I'm glad that's a beautiful way to remember him. <coughs> See you on the other side of the suffering. I'd like to put him to rest in a place where we were happy. <coughs> All right, that's enough sentimentality for one day. Yeah, back to sweeping. We have work to do. <coughs> Let's get back to it. Back to sweeping. Goodbye. That was a really important conversation to have. It wasn't even about the end of the game. So she has like nothing. She has like no, no personality outside of her, her husband's past. Oh, look who's here. Raphael joined us. <coughs> it's over. It's finally over. <coughs> I can't tell you how great. That's enough sentimentality for one day. Yeah, back to sweeping. We have work to do. <coughs> Let's get back to it. Back to sweeping. Goodbye. That was a really important conversation to have. It wasn't even about the end of the game. So she has like nothing. She has like no no personality outside of her her husband who passed. Hmm. Oh, look who's here! Raphael joined us. <clears throat> it's over. It's finally over. Duh. I can't tell you how. He wants these me. video game characters to be deeper than he is. I want to get back to civilization. Anywhere will do. I can catch a ride back to Atlantis on my own. And then, if you ever need an engineer, <clears throat> just want to talk. Look me up at the viewport. I owe you. Great. I'll hire him just on the mustache alone. You always respect a man with a marvelous mustache. Right. Anyway, <coughs> so Lynn and Sam are on the ship. Oh, I hear Dory Fan talking, but I don't know where he is. <coughs> Downstairs, maybe? Must be. The ship's pretty big. Game Master did a super chat. He says, personally, I wish the game had bats. I wish it had something unique to the combat. It literally has nothing unique to the combat at all. It feels like a, a choppy, uh, indistinct first person shooter, and that's sad. So, <coughs> I've had the Dory Fan the whole game. He literally hasn't done anything. He's done not a single useful thing ever. Being a part of the crew, in conversation, he never gave me a quest. He just stands here. So, what exactly was the point of having the Dory Fan? Everything needs to be so meaningful. Like, at least in huh? Oblivion. He follows you around. At least in oblivion. In combat. I mean, what was the point? He didn't need to be in the game at all. I understand. Oh, it was like an indistinct. So what did they do in this game? Dory fan talking, but I don't know where he is. Must I wish it had something unique to the combat. It literally has nothing that's sad. So <clears throat> I've had the adoring fan the whole game. He yep. literally hasn't done anything. He's done not a single useful thing ever. Being a part of the crew in conversation. He never gave me a quest. He just stands here. So what exactly was the point of having the Adoring Fan in the game? Like, at least in Oblivion, he follows you around, he's a companion, he helps in combat. I mean, what was the point? He's inflating the fuck out of, like, following you around and helping in combat. Yeah, such a huge thing, man. The people. Maybe I should go back to Constellation, do you think? Canadian Kirk says it lets you know how to how it feels to be hero worship. Yeah, you could get yeah, the dude to follow you in this game, but he didn't do that. And he acting uh, like the game uh, didn't allow him to. Constellation. Also, they want us to to it's build the what call it, right? This thing. What you call it? The snake? The candy? <laughs> Add oh. the artifacts. You complete it. Once you part the grab, you'll jump to the unity. Remove it from your ship if you need to grab them anywhere else. Oh, I wanted to go back to Constellation. Yeah. The landscapers. Crap. I wanted to go to Constellation right. briefly to talk with everyone. <clears throat> Okay, so now I added again when I want to finish the game. So let's do that. Let's go to Constellation and talk to everyone like once, and then we'll go back in the ship and we'll end the game. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Vongo Express is super chat. I love the adorable fan. He elite. He elite? Eh? What does that mean? So He's elite. Here. What's the quickest way to do it? It's like, uh, uh Jeff Jarrett. We all elite, baby. Talk with Sarah Morgan. That didn't work. Uh, this shit doesn't work. It really drives drive me bonkers, dude. Why does she say she's here? She's not here. I just went through the whole ship and she ain't here. Fucking stupid. All right, talk with Sarah Morgan. We got. I want to go back to. Uh, I wonder what Cat doing right now. Like that. <clears throat> Deliver news about the Terramorph attack. There we go. All right. There we go. That gave me a fast travel. Game Master did another super chat. 
Do you feel 70 bucks is too much for this game? Um, again, it depends on what you look for in a game. Everyone's gonna have a different opinion. The game has a tremendous amount of content. The question is, is it good content for you, right? This is gorgeous. I feel like everyone will have a different opinion on that. Some people would actually really like this But game. do you think 70 is enough? Other people would be like, I hate this shit, right? I, you know, <clears throat> everyone would be different, so. Why are you so <clears throat> cringe? Um, yeah. His answer is everybody gonna feel different. The dude asking how you feel, and your response is other people will feel different. Oh, now which yeah. And at the same time, why would you pay that? So it's not worth 70. I don't know. It ain't worth 70. I'm giving the answer. It ain't. Why would you buy it? He says, glad you're back. Keep up the gameplay. I also got tips. Let me shout all this stuff out, guys. Give me a second here. Shout outs. We stopped everything. John. You're not gonna see me pause the game. There's a fucking pop up on the screen. I sit the controller down. Thank you, shubbity bubbity. Yo, you're so great. Thanks for the money. I'm not gonna do that. And I received a $22 tip. I'm Commander Shepard. This is my favorite stream on the Citadel. Well, thank you, Commander Shepard. For a $22 tip, I appreciate that. I have a story for you. It's gonna be called I taped your mouth shut so you shut up so I can talk to my audience. It's gonna be a great one, like front page news if you don't shut up. All right, <clears throat> so thank you very much to Commander Shepard for the twenty-two dollar tip. Say, what you gonna do? Well, thank you, Commander Shepard, for a twenty-two dollar tip. I appreciate that. I have a story for you. It's gonna be called "I taped your mouth shut so you shut okay. up so I can talk." Just tape on a mouth shut. Like front page news, if you don't shut up. All right, <clears throat> so thank you very much, to Commander Shepard, for the twenty-two dollar tip. With that, for right, ninety bucks of tips today. Thank you very, very much for the support, everybody. Ten dollars away from a hat you get to vote on, and keep in mind we have both holiday hats in the running. The Let's Get Lit and the Santa hat, as well as all the other hats. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Did you like the lie? You like the lie? Listen to the lie. Listen to the lie. For no reason. For no reason. For no reason. For no reason. $10 away from a hat you get to vote on. And keep in mind, we have both holiday hats in the running. The Let's Get Lit and the Santa hat, as well as all the other hats. So there you go. As well as all the other hats? We just saw the poll pop up on screen. He did a poll between two hats. The Let's Get Lit hat and the Santa hat. There was no option for any other hats. Yeah. All the other hats. He's gonna do a poll with 20 hats, right? Okay, so why you say stuff like this? The hat. These well, white well, lies well, to just get like maybe a dollar okay, so. from every from everybody, an extra dollar from somebody. Oh man, all the hats? I was in the Terramorph attack at New Atlantis. Well, yeah, we all were. Wow. To say you have my undivided attention. Yeah, right. Wait, you're at New Atlantis. How are you not there for it? The accounts we got were chaotic. What, was your <laughs> what are you talking about? The accounts we got were chaotic. You were here. We're at New Atlantis. What accounts? You were sitting right there when it happened. This is, dude, this, this game is so stupid. The person who's on Atlantis right now with me and was here during the attack game wants to know stupid. my account of the attack when she was there too. Like, what the fuck is your problem? You are a dunce. Dunce. <laughs> He's got such, wow. like, anyway, an attachment go. to saying that shit, dude. Being modest. God damn. He isn't exactly trained for that scenario, but all right. The whole city is still on such a dunce. We fortunate, damn fortunate, that casualties were so low. <clears throat> What was it like in the thick of things? By the way, RAC being very generous, just gifted oh. five memberships to the community. Yes. Congratulations to J Boyfly, Skizdalit, oh. David E, Protosser, and Detractorism. What a name! Are all of them just received? Interesting name. So congratulations to all of you. That should get us up to five oh six members, which is great. We're headed back in the right direction. Uh, you know, I was ho hoping to keep this above five hundred today. Thank you very much for that, RAC. <clears throat> uh. I felt alive when everything is on the line. Every moment seems like a gift. You never know quite how precious life is. <laughs> what are you saying? Until it's under threat. Of course, a big gift. It sounds like New Atlantis. Heck, the whole UC owes you a great debt. That's right. How much are you gonna Any pay? Any comments? I already have a good story here. <clears throat> I can't sleep at night because who knows when they'll attack again? Everyone needs to know the man behind it is Ve Victus. <clears throat> yes, let's do it. What? <laughs> You're serious? Oh, listen. Ve Victus is dead. <laughs> like, <clears throat> documented historical event dead. I don't even want to get into it. Well, she won't let me tell her that. She's an idiot. All right, I have nothing else to say. Got it. Hey, Constellation, from all of I us... I can't wait for the review. Thanks. Hopefully we get a good in-depth review. A lot in news, but you really are one. Now, the thing is... I didn't wow. catch up with his stream yet, deliver, but, does it really matter? but I was just curious if anything else happened. It's like I'm less than 30 minutes, minutes till he clock out. Mentioned, we apparently can't tell that story. <laughs> uh, so so that's gonna, interesting. Right, the right, stream just train. started. And for the tram, we go over to that, that uh, the, what is it called, the Jemison or whatever. So let's do that. Let's get on the tram. Which is where? Now I'm confused. Where's the tram? <laughs> I thought it was over here. It is, right? Is it over here? Why does it look different than I remember it? It totally looked... 
That's the entrance. No, there's the tram. There, I was going the wrong direction. I was going completely the wrong direction. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. So we gotta go to the residential district, correct? That's where the Jemison is, I think. Or is it in Mast? No, it's in Mast. I can't remember. Let's find out. I can't remember. But we gotta finish the. We gotta talk to everyone in Constellation one time, and then we'll finish the game, and I'll give you my final thoughts. <clears throat> okay. Um, a couple more tips have come in. I received a six dollar tip from Moon Man. Message: Keep up. Keep on keeping on. The racist Moon guy. Man for a six dollar tip. <clears throat> I the meme? $2 tip. Oh, the real one. So, this person says, I think the only way to stop drama is to stop talking about it entirely, but unfortunately, you had to talk about Oh, yeah, forced to. You're right. Mm -hmm. Keep in he mind, had to. I kept nice bait, by the way. For a month. Nice bait. I bae. never mentioned it for a Great month. Bae, because man. I didn't want to yeah. know about it publicly. I just wanted to go about my day. As Dingus will say, DSP is being gaslit and they're thinking this is true. So now next time some weird shit happened to him, he's going to be that much closer to talking about it when he maybe shouldn't, or maybe he shouldn't do it at that moment. He's going to be like, well, last time I talked about stuff that was going on with me behind the scenes, it went away. So I'm talking about it again. It's totally going to happen again. I had to bring it up because he's being no tricked. Way to get help. <clears throat> he's being tricked. Okay. I also received... Can he tell us how tip. the internet helped him? Can he tell us what happened? Bonage how he got help because of the videos? Hats today. All right. Kind of not. So, with that tip... What, the social media account replied to him? They do that to everybody. We have hit the Tier 2 Tips goal for today's stream, which I really appreciate. And now we will have a poll for the two festive hats. Tier 2, baby. Excuse me. Now he really in the bag. Get to ruin the plot. Who the fuck are you? Stop talking. Get to ruin the plot. All right, here we go. Game Master also did a super chat. I got shot down in a second. Jeez. Am I going to get to beat the game? I don't know. Yeah, forced to talk about drama. Okay. <clears throat> so, Game Master did a super chat. Yes. And now, this is the thing. He was forced to talk about it, but this coming from the same dude who say everything that go on with him, just assume it's 10 more things going on that we don't know about. And every time something going on, we should assume that worse things are going on that he don't want to talk about. He wasn't exaggerating either. When he said that, he said specifically, I'm not exaggerating. I wish I was. This piece I want to tell you, you're Arkham games are now coming out on Switch. He wish he was. Arkham Knight was for $3.99 and returned no, he can't play Arkham games anymore because that weird kid. Or are you talking about... <clears throat> literally <clears throat> named the Arkham. Those games have been incredibly cheap. The collection uh, at one point... He cannot play those games again. ...was selling for like $5, $10. I remember seeing it for that price. So you're right. If they're selling it for $60 on Switch, essentially the only reason they're able to get away with that is because it's never been on Switch before. Right? Yeah, that's the point. They feel, well, it's your only opportunity to play it on Switch, so you have to pay what you have to pay to play it, right? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of messed up, but that that hap this happens all the time. It does. It'll be ported to a new console, and all of a sudden the price will get inflated because they feel like this is a whole new customer base for them now, <clears throat> and they can take advantage of that customer base, sadly. <clears throat> So yeah, still can't sucks, but my own room they do it all the time. I keep thinking they'll one day say really it's all an elaborate practical joke. Morale in the lodge has been measurably reduced. It appears Constellation's current mission is at its end. Okay. It is customary to offer You're congratulatory statements. You deserve plenty of praise yourself, Vasco. Does he? What did he do? Thank you. <clears throat> if I were sentient, I am sure I would be feeling a great sense of pride and increased social connectivity to you. Time to EJ. And see you later. The process Enjoy. of becoming starborn is done without causing any physical well, Jay trauma. Clocking out. But given the unknown physiological requirements of crossing <laughs> universes, that seems unlikely. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see if a robot can become a Starborn. Given that the <clears throat> Starborn encounters have so far not included any robots, Duh. the safe That's assumption weird. is that I will need to remain behind. If we do not see each other again, goodbye, Captain. From a statistical standpoint, you have been an unusually effective member of this team. All right. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Andy says, he's making fun of Bethesda's facial animation, saying they look very robotic in every game. Casanova, good to have you here today. He says, good to have you here pushing forward positively. It's good to have you here on the stream, Casanova. <clears throat> Alright, so that's the Vasco conversation. Trauma. 
Don't mind me. Tip your ear later. What? Ah, uh, it'll be a shame to pack up all the modifications to the eye for finding the artifacts. But she's earned a break. Gilded our fortunes for sure. I can say the same. Oh no! Hold on a second. I gotta close my window again, guys. <clears throat> Son of a bitch! Say, oh no! Like somebody was <laughs> shooting outside. What the fuck's wrong with him, man? God damn! Everything's so uh, yeah. interesting. Oh no! The landscapers are outside. Is this dude just look at us menacingly? Find some so, could say the same about you. We couldn't have done this without you. I don't believe that. You find some new anomaly out there. The eyes, the eye sleeps at last. Let's say that I don't believe that. You'll find something else out there. Caught the measure of me right. Worse was <coughs> to tire for an ex Crimson fleet. I'll be taking up the chair when everyone's gone in the Unity. Set Constellation's course for another new beginning. <laughs> Not my first time at the helm for a crew, but going to take it slow. God damn, this camera's fucking stupid. It's so wide. Make Constellation's official chair a bench press. Every new member has to do reps. <laughs> Super <laughs> wide camera so he can show off his actual toys. In each head his actual toys. Those doors. Well, tipped your ear long enough. I'll be smiling as you walk through Eternity's gate. Yeah, I thought the same thing. The, next the gates to hell opened and Satan appeared. And you know if that happened, he's gonna have to take like maybe so a five minute so break on the stream. You see the funeral, you could just wait for four days. I could. But th this is kind of the point Okay, the now the order. The race of Kane's oh. order. On the way. And we'll arrive between 548 and 603. Right? It kind it's of been a long journey. The meaning behind the memorial. Like, he, he passed away, and then moments later, it's revealed there's an alternate multiverse where he's alive, and you meet him. It's like, well, so now the impact of losing your Barrett is completely lost. And that's what I mean about the whole plot. They really screwed it up, in my opinion. They don't give you enough time for anything to really sink in or have meaning. <clears throat> they just move you right into this multiverse plot that kind of completely negates the value of what just happened. You see? So why care about the funeral? It, it really doesn't matter. You know? I'm not sure when things will feel safer. But we have not been attacked again. And Andrea had it rough in my playthrough because we found her at the end of the story we were doing. And I've Andrea, never really no. done anything with her, so I don't even know her story or anything. And I don't really care. Oh, because, he don't you don't know, care. The game so, isn't very good. Oh. Unity awaits. <clears throat> I'm not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know. Can lead to Again, place. thank you to Cat Burnell for telling DSP to play this game today. And do their stories. Barrett's was interesting. Sorry, you're depressed, and honey. Maybe you should play this right. game that you not don't want to play. All right. uh, what's her name? Sarah is of course, it wasn't right. DSP's decision. Like He's not that smart. And that's it, because I don't know, because I didn't do anything with anybody else. I tried Lynn, and Lynn only had the story about her husband who passed away and had nothing else to add, ever. So, <clears throat> okay. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Screw in this universe, a bunch of jerks. Let's say the universe we have isn't so bad, there's no guarantee what's next will be better. Constellation has given me a home, and I will always be grateful. But I also feel ready. Who said that any of these people are going through with me? I didn't say any of them. Are. I think I'm just going myself, so I'm screw them. By the way, you guys want to let's get lit at. Oh, even recognize each other if we do? I don't know if you guys want it on, it's very distracting when I have it on. <coughs> oh. I hope you have to open a window again before you're done streaming. <laughs> oh shit, let's get bad. lit. And it's blinking. Let's get lit for Christmas. Sounds good, right? <laughs> I hope he ended up wearing his hat a couple of more times before um, December. Well, before Christmas. He put it on Christmas Day and it don't work. This this hat is like three, four years old, five years old. And he too stupid to change the batteries. He never did it. So it's, it's gonna happen. I've been waiting. I've been waiting years for it to happen. Here you go. You're my version to punch any other versions of what you need. Here you go. Oh, that was already. Damn it. What if he changed the batteries and I don't know? Goodbye. I am proud of all the Do we have a conversation with her? She's like we're old friends, right? I don't think we even had a conversation at all. Waiting for time to ah! When did you get there? You scared me. <laughs> Where's everybody else? 
constellation has suffered well, see here. Although, we're gonna be me, I think. This is probably bad for, uh, you know. I'm pretty sure that year we went around looking for Christmas stuff for my marathon, and this is when we found a random store. I can tell you exactly what store it was. It was somewhere like a local mall. Investment bang <laughs> We've succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. Everyone should feel proud. Industrialist, now the real work begins. How to turn profit on this unity business. There is nothing yeah. entrepreneurial mind can fail to commoditize. I don't know. I don't know. The let's get lit hat might not be good. But if we're lucky and the journey to the unity can be replicated, oh no. I can see this being a jade killer, especially with him swaying and leaning, and he's banning. There might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next universe. And oh no! Shout out. I would be Maybe. Company, yep. Well. <clears throat> oh well. It sounds like you wanted to make Jurassic Park with the Unity, but he says, oh, the theme park won't work, so we can maybe do something else, right? He's trying to make money on it, it's pretty funny. Game Master, thanks to Super Chat, he says, the makers of Shadow of War may be making uh, a Wonder Woman game. It's interesting. Wonder Woman be any good? <laughs> okay, anyway. Wonder Woman game. There's more to you than your money. Thank you for that. Dudes that made Shadow of War? Oh, man. <laughs> so like a female protagonist <laughs> experience of the century. If I could borrow a bit from Sebastian Banks, bring light into the darkness of the unknown. I think it's just no Noel, Noel, how is your name? He's the only other person left, right? Everyone else we've, we've talked to except Sarah, but apparently Sarah's MIA. <laughs> Since she was on the ship, we walked through the entire ship, she wasn't there. So she was in the bathroom. So I know we aren't keeping all the artifacts here anymore, but I think I can get some good readings from your ship. About what? You have no idea how excited I am. Talking about my artifacts, please. Some coffee. Pull it on later. You're coming with us! What? No, 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 I do not think so. Especially not the restructuring yourself at the molecular level. Ah, she doesn't want to come. Or whatever she actually does to make you starboard. Anyway, Vladimir and I. Yeah, see, the battery's already dying. See, I was going crazy. Is that supposed to do that? Oh, oh. crazy. with so many people leaving. It'll be pretty quiet at first, but that's what Constellation has been doing. Battery dying, keep the light on anyway. I think I have another battery for this downstairs, by the way. Damn, he's going to change the battery. The old chair of Constellation has a nice ring to it. You know how to do it. He's going to be the chair? Oops. Maybe one day. For now, I think I'm better off letting Vladimir have it. Oh, okay. Disappointed. I promised myself I wouldn't cry, and I'm sticking to that. So, goodbye. I'll miss you all. What's funny is, like, you don't understand that emotion because she's barely part of the story, right? I mean, yeah, she's been there for the Constellation meetings, but it's not like she ever went on a mission with you. You didn't really learn much about her backstory or anything, right? Like, she's all emotional like she's some critical part of the game. She's totally not. <laughs> not at all. Not like they act now, anyway. <clears throat> all right, well, I guess that's it. We just gotta go to the ship, right? We go to the ship. <clears throat> Here we go. This will be the end. So, we have to get up. <clears throat> we have to build the armillary. Are they showing you where she is? No, that's New Atlantis. What the hell? What is going on right now? <clears throat> Here, oh, gotta talk to Cora. I can't wait to get to the Unity. I've been reading all about Parallel Universe Theory, and I'm so ready to meet another version of me. Do you think it's okay if I call them Cora too? You're not coming with us. It's too dangerous. <laughs> Damn! Just completely destroying her hopes and dreams. She might run away crying, right? <clears throat> I'd be offended if you were calling me too. You're right. We shouldn't assume that just because they're the second us we see, that they somehow didn't exist before. Look, Dad said that there's a chance we might all get separated after we go to the Unity. You don't think that's going to happen, do you? It might. That's the risk we'll all be taking. This is why I think you should stay here where it's safe. We'll be fine. This is what we do. Okay. <laughs> that makes me feel better. I'm sure you're going to miss the lodge, but I can't wait to see what happens next. All right, so that's that. Well, who's left to talk to? At this point, I don't think I'm going to talk to Sarah. I don't give a shit. I can't even find her. Like she disappeared from the game. Yeah, she's gone. So screw it. I don't care about her. I'm serious. Like, I, I can't find her. My whole crew's on the ship and not Sarah. Oh, well, let's finish the game. I'm serious. I don't even care anymore. This is so stupid. We might find Done with this shit. <clears throat> okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. Maybe you should actually load in the universe somewhere so I can talk to you. I don't care. All right. <clears throat> Let's do it. Why are you forcing me? What was that? The Dorian fan. Could have been a Dorian fan. It sounded like a bitch like that. All right. There's you tonight. Let's finish it. And, uh... Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> now what do we gotta do? Just grab jump anywhere? Like, literally grab jump anywhere? All right? One giant leap. Power up the grab drive. So how do I do it? I have a bounty on me. Come on. Oh, work. Well, there we go. Imagine not liking a little skid lit hat. I exciting. hope you have infinite batteries. Very exciting. Very exciting. That's how you know it's Thank not. You Mandy for a super chat. Uh, so, how's the internet? We'll take a look. Seems to be working. Thank you for the super chat. So, here we are. We're standing in front of what appears to be. How's the internet? A, a it's working. Whopper, hard candy, or everlasting gobstopper, or something. Right? This is very exciting. Uh, oh, oh, I can move. Can I can move. Here we go. This is actually the background from uh, Master Team 3, the uh, elusive man, right? There I am. You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. Wow, what all we do? I never get tired of staring at it. <clears throat> Eternity. Wow. I was expecting more. The infinite only exists. Judging it makes no difference. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Ah, uh, yes. Welcome to we all the stream. I do what I please. I took what I wanted. I've done all I can to be peace with what I couldn't. Right? 
I don't know, my character didn't really give a shit about anything, right? Right? I was like, we all regret it if we're honest anyway. How about that? Fair. I wonder what your decision will be then. In order to become Star Lord, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. <laughs> right. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe. While another part of you... What the hell? Like terrible writing for the end. They built up this dude like, looks strange. This one finally will change... Really strange. Even as you leave it behind. So, literally, my name is very apropos. Fart Knocker Jones. As I'm on the way out, I leave a giant... Right, it's an apropos name. ...the previous universe that just rips it a new one. I guess, is what he's saying. One oh. last blast into the past while you move forward into the next dimension. That's very, very cool. Obviously, a big ripper on the way out. <clears throat> That's what he's saying. Uh, by the way, I got a $7 tip. Yeah. From we Cookie always Man. do a shout out after a joke that bad. Man. For a $7 tip, I appreciate that. I don't know why you're the cookie man. Do you make cookies? Do you eat cookies? Do you crush Bro. cookies? Well, I don't know. But maybe Santa Phil can tell you in a second here in this animation. Anyway. Santa Phil. Mm -hmm. Uh, time for the last blast. Uh, the storm that will be reborn. This sounds like death. Skip to the part where I become more powerful. This is all too much. I don't understand. The artifacts, who created them, and why? He's not gonna tell you shit, right? He's a no. Unknowing, <clears throat> you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? I don't that know why they do this. Me. I don't know why they do this. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day, you might even meet the creators. Right. But not, but not this day, because we couldn't be bothered to write that part of the story. We were too lazy. Right? <laughs> so that you could ask right? that very question. So that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Wow. So basically, it's a complete cop-out. They absolutely will not give you a true ending to the game whatsoever in any way, is what they're saying. They didn't bother writing a real ending. Great. Because maybe they'll make a All DLC right, well, because it's a Bethesda game. Like think death. about that. Much he would think about that too if he was coping and if he liked this game. So the well, they're probably going to make it a DLC. That's going to be interesting, right? That art is what becomes uh, Was Callisto Protocol finished with that story? I have no idea, actually. But he didn't play the DLC. Whatever they did in it. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become Callisto. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. No. You can turn around, walk away from the Unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship, in your universe. You could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity, right now. Go out into the stars. Oh, yes. Welcome to the stream, boy. So the business. Guys, I see there's contributions so coming in. I will shout those out after we get to the end. As what the fuck? <clears throat> Why make them wait on purpose? To what will happen to the universe? I don't know. Big ups, boys who do business. You hear it the perfect time? I think my racing canes just showed up. So this is your epilogue. This is your epilogue of what's going to happen when you leave. By defeating both the hunter and the emissary, the path to the unity in this universe is left for the people of the settled systems to discover on their own, uninterrupted by powerful star. Ah. So there's no starborn to interrupt anymore. We got rid of them, so everyone can just study this. Okay. <clears throat> Ron Hope's downfall proves once again that the free star rangers put justice above petty power plays and politics. Uh -huh. A sense of commitment to the common good grows throughout the Freestar Collective. Acts of heroism and noble sacrifice increase. Jade, I'm sorry that has bothering you. Oh! The stream's almost over. <laughs> it happened. It happened. It happened. It happened. Can I move any faster than a snail? Yes, the head's toxic. Let's fucking go. <laughs> the Constellation membership. And then DSP just says, sorry it's bothering you. The stream ending soon. Uh, okay. What's he doing? Ah, yes. Ah, yes. The head is toxic. As I expected. So I gotta find it. What happens to the I'm super wars? far behind, I think. <clears throat> did we solve the problem with what we did? The use of an engineered microbe on the terramorphs leads to a near extinction of the species. Ah. Fear of aliens declines throughout the settled systems. Ed Jade says the lights are making them feel sick. Gross. 
And this is the Sunday part. Sunday part? Sunday person's fault. Because look, are the blinking lights making you feel sick? And then they said, yeah. Oh my lord. And then look, tell DSP please. Tell DSP please. This place. He won't take it off. He can't take it off. He got paid to put it on. So like what? We won't wear it again? Or... Uh -huh. Embrace the infinite. I'll be back. I'm going to get my food. It's like the Fallout theme. It almost does. Wow. Wow! I'm. What's hilarious is the reflection of my hat on my TV is looks better than what's on my TV. <laughs> my hat is more impressive than the ending of the game, right? So what's going on right now? Can I do anything? Or are you supposed to sit here? Hello? What are we looking at? Oh, is this the blast I left? This is the blast I left on the way out. Here it is. Look at that blast! Wow, that's an impressive blast out of the ass. <clears throat> Nice. Damn. Usually I don't visualize my blasts, but I'm saying right now I can. Very nice. That's really it? That's the end, huh? That's the ending, huh? Wow. Is that really it? $70, no ending? They don't know what happened. Fuck you. That, wow. Thank you for your $70, no ending. I can't skip the credits. The spaceship speed flew through, off though. into space. You can't just skip them. You have to speed through and them. No one they forcefully want you to read them. I'm not reading them. I refuse. I refuse to read and them. The credits. Uh, quickly, <laughs> shout out to again. Zach who did a super chat. <laughs> Zach845, he says, Phil, I'm here to support the stream. Thank you, Zach. And Game Master also did another super chat. Thank you for that, guys. Also, I guess Nasty Mandy. Oh, I already shouted that one out. That's right. I got a $3 tip from Beth Jezos heard about your Comcast situation at Twitch we won't treat you like that yeah but at Twitch you don't uh, you don't provide internet service so and then a $3 tip came in yeah that was a pretty bad group. joke from that dude so I received two more $3 tips thank you very much <laughs> at Twitch we won't turn your internet off today. Wow, I hope now. not yeah. what happens after because apparently oh here we go apparently something does happen now right alright I pressed it okay uh. so oh what's this Starborn, that is what you become, a being who has touched the infinite. Your story is over, but begins anew in this universe and countless others. You remember all you learned, your possessions, everything. How much you really paid, oh, 30? They charge you $30 for no unit. ending. So basically, you, you keep got your fuck, level. You got fuck. You keep your level and your skills. But now you're going to continue on. Second, wait a minute. Oh, what is that? Yeah. How did I get that? I got oh, a new yeah. outfit. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Starfield. Ah, ah, ah. Astra. So, it's worth 62,000. Grants up to 100 energy resistance and physical resistance the lower your health gets. Lead line, 25 radiation resistance. Reactive, 10% chance to stagger nearby attackers and has a balanced boost pack installed. See that? Thousand. Okay. I'm on the moon of Ancelon in the Narian system. Bro, so, what? here we are. We're actually in a ship. We're in a starborn ship, right? Okay. So what do I do? <clears throat> we can fly. One small step. Go to the lodge. Okay. Let's see what happens. I don't know about you, but I'm blaming. So Mick now and you Naruto. have a starborn spaceship for your second playthrough, huh? Yeah. Look. Uh, I wonder how good it is. What's hilarious though, my What's other ship was better than a starborn ship because I took out two at once, remember? I just destroyed well, there you go. That is pretty funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, he could have played this completely for free, but he was chasing the dragon, baby. Gotta do it again? Yeah. Uh, so what happens if you go inside the constellation? None of this means anything to him off the conveyor belt, well known to the next thing we won't care about. Uh, no. We all can't wait for Robocop. And or the next big game on DSP's list. Is that you're getting plus increase in power over and over and over. Plus, you're keeping your level, right? You're keeping all your skills and everything from the first playthrough. Big ups. 
Ang Lee, you're here at the perfect time. Okay, we got a shot taken segment coming up. Raising Canes is here. Uh, let's see if the order was right. From the first time you arrived, remember that? What happened to this guy? I guess it didn't really render right or something. When I was landing, it looked like shit. Everything looks the same though, right? Like nothing looks any different. Everything looks identical. Big ups. Right. The so legend. Real quick. Quick. Not what are racing canes? I mean, basically, endless just keep going. So if you don't do a faction quest the first time, you can do it the second time. You don't have to do everything in your first run, right? <clears throat> so the funny part is, you might say, oh, this is cool, because now you have more power. You don't need it. Like, if you think about my playthrough, right? In this entire run, 40, over 44 hours, I ended up 45 hour playthrough. Was I ever really challenged? Did I ever really go against odds that were so insurmountable that I wish I had better armor or better guns or better equipment? I pretty much handled everything pretty smoothly, right? And the only problem I have sometimes I had, uh, ammo issues. Like, I was running out of ammo. But outside of that, for the most part, everything was pretty, pretty easy to tackle, right? So who cares that you got a better suit? Right? And what's funny is me Anyone people, there? Like, yeah, well, I'm curious. Will anyone inside Hello? the lodge? Right? Let's find out. This is supposed to be Universe 2. So did they change anything in the lodge? <clears throat> uh, yeah. uh, Sarah looks the same. Excuse me, this is a private. Wait. There's something familiar about you. Uh, Vasco, identify. Make an arrow to the body. Oh, yeah. Huh. Thanks for being still. This oh, appears yeah. to be the miner from Argo's extractors. Oh, no. Lost as we were carrying the artifact from Victoria. Here we go. Oh, yes. Previously. I can't mute myself this way. It's too glitchy. Wait. See, yeah, it literally shows that I'm muted. Okay, now I'm not muted. Now I am muted. No, okay, now I'm not muted. This shit's been driving me crazy today. My stream deck is genuinely laggy. I hit the mute button and it don't mute. I hit the unmute it don't unmute. It's muted when it's supposed to be unmuted. Unmuted when it's supposed to be muted. I gotta mute myself a different way till it stop lagging. Let's say this, I'm not in this universe. All right, so now I know I'm not muted. So, that's what we're looking for. The pieces to an armory, a path to the center of a multiverse. Let's see, we can do one of the most elaborate practical joke I've ever these. I think we're past the point of doubting, Walter. And one of these. They look the same to me, they not. What changed? The delicious, robust, raising canes order. I don't know if you brush off to move them. Some of those artifacts grant you powers, am I right? You should leverage that. I want you to check with Vladimir on the cross reference. I even have a, a custom cup. I keep forgetting to drink, but I'm I'm pretty so, sure I get like Diet Pepsi. Maybe it's Diet Dr. Pepper. I know it's not Coca Cola. You don't even tell them your name. You just skip that whole portion. You, you know. Sorry to hear of the Comcast situation. Hope you get that resolved quickly. The second universe is almost always identical to the first version, and you start getting different ones after. So how many fucking times do you expect you to play the game? You really don't want to spend 400 Dr. hours Pepper, doing the same shit over and over. Dr. Pepper, sauce, three-finger combo, no fries, extra toast. But did so, they do it? So the did is, they do everything is, correct? Barry's out there somewhere, right? Because he didn't show up. Yeah, look, you only have one mission. Talk they were right. Now, I think what we got the, on, the delicious <laughs> bread. Ten times. People are saying it caps at ten times. Perfectly really? toasted. Perfectly well, bread-like. I'm going to save. I'm going to tip the shout-out. The three-finger combo. So, Extra sauce. Hello, Star Wars. Can you help assist in any way I can? Can you help? I'll give you my final thoughts about the game as we stare at the the armor layer. Well, we have to build it, right? But this is initially what it was, right? All right, so <clears throat> the armor level caps at ten times and every increases after that. But you can go through infinite. Oh, these are like fresh, fresh, Obviously, fresh done. A six dollar tip. This is that time of the day. Wow, the Rue, a lot of tips today. Thank you so much to the Rue. I appreciate that. I even got this uh this, this right, modified so, piece. My final thoughts on Starborn after playing for forty five hours, completing the main quest, and seeing how the game reboots. Um, <clears throat> essentially. Oh, it reboots. Alright, when you start playing it and it feels so much like Fallout or, or even an the Elder Raising Kane's Order, you kind of feel at Boy. home, right? But I see, there's gonna minute. be dialogue choices, there's gonna be a lot of looting, right, there's right. gonna be these missions where your dialogue matters, and there's gonna be com- It does feel like the standard Bethesda open world RPG experience where everywhere you go there's another mission that unlocks another mission and there's all this content that kind of links and keeps going out in this branching paths kind of a deal. But then when you finally actually see what it is, four factions, right? And then a set number of companions. How many are there? Like three or four who have quests. I know there's Barrett, Sarah, uh, Andreja, and Sam. So four real companions in the game. <clears throat> all the other companions aren't real companions, right? They basically, they come with you, but they don't have their own stories and quest lines and things. So you got that. You got your companion stuff. You got your, your faction stuff. You've got a zillion miscellaneous quests, right? But, well, I definitely noticed. Like, remember when I went to Neon and I went there? I said, today on the stream, all we're going to do is all the Neon quests that we encounter, right? And we did it all. And by the end of that stream, I realized something. What? 
I had wasted my time because oh. the entire stream of side content didn't DSP change. beat Did Starfield today and guess new? what that was interesting I'm going to beat sobriety we got a new bottle so of fireball content to do out of nowhere like, it's meaningless and I hate to say it that's exactly what Starfield feels like. It's a game full of content. We dedicate There's this shot of missions. to There's the a uh, food There's order. crafting systems where you can improve Obviously. your weapons. You can build your own ship. You could build an outpost, right? You could do and all And we dedicate it to a brand new bottle of, actually amount to of the Red Demon. What's the point of adding in all of these uh, things into big ups, the game little this if shot them goes out to you? into anything that matters. What matters is the main quest line. After that, everything else is on the periphery, and you can choose to do it or not. But it doesn't really affect anything. We also dedicate this shot you know to everything that matters. Like, to me, and doing I, I things that are meaningful that to me. Three. I started Seven, six, realizing five, four, three, two, one. that the game uh, didn't let's one, go. feel like it had much meaning to it. You know what I'm saying? Like when I play Fallout. And I feel like I'm experiencing this incredibly unique and fun universe with a combat system with VATS that's very different from other games, right? Where you play Elder Scrolls and it's this epic fantasy with all this stuff going on. Thank you for the I don't really feel so, that uh, in this game. Like you know what I mean? Six like, months, just, 24 right, months total. Some missions. I'm shooting some things repetitively or whatever. But I think that's really the main thing of missions. this game. It's like they threw all this stuff into a universe. So this is review. This is big payoff. This is a pre-stream rant. Is it unique? Is it interesting? Does it hold interest? And is it meaningful to spend the amount of time? It's almost like he do it so much. It's funny. It's funny. It's not really funny. He's doing a meaningful bullshit, talking about meaningful and being meaningful. You know, this segment isn't that meaningful because he's done it every pre-stream after every Starfield stream. He's basically reviewed the game over the course of dozens of really small segments on his pre-stream dozens of really so really small segments on the night pre-stream to the point where you got hours of footage of him talking about this game hours you know uh back in the day not really back in the day but he used to say oh if you want to know my opinion on a playthrough just watch it and then he changed that to if you want to know my opinion just watch the last part of the playthrough it's like we know your opinion on games now because you talk about them on every pre-stream and you say the same shit. A lot of people will answer differently. People he didn't need to finish the game right? to say what he's saying now because he's already said it. Universe and felt it to be incredibly. He just think to me it of course yeah, the game felt has more like meaning and value. It felt like to his review because like he beat the game. Copy paste what they Bruh, in the past. Beating the game, beating this game, just mean you waste the time on it. Made those games from it's no past, skill right? required you know what this game no puzzles like? okay. no real you challenge you just exist you know you put it down in a photocopier right yeah i'm hating a copy of it i'm never gonna beat this game copy and then you i'm not willing to do it the copy of the copy the more that you copy the same thing and you regurgitate it out more and more it loses its focus it becomes fuzzy it doesn't look good the 20th 30th time you've copied it the Bethesda formula. You know what him saying that made me think of has now been back in the day so when times, people used to steal pictures. Well, anymore. when people would screenshot shit the Elder Scrolls and then re-upload the, the screenshot. And multiple games in those universes. But slightly change it, and somebody else do it and slightly change it, another time. and then eventually you get some the fucked up graffiti looking ass picture. That were original don't work. And then the people started doing that on purpose. Incredibly tedious and boring, not fun. Flying for a around, comedic effect. completely useless. You could just fast travel everywhere. Planet exploration. I explored one planet, and what happened during it? The game crashed. So I never bothered doing it again. Never built an outpost. Meaningless. Crafting system. Meaningless. You don't need to ever craft. You find enough stuff in the game. Research trees. Meaningless. They're all. It's all meaningless. So all you did is you copied your previous work. You put it into a new plot line. And you expected that people were going to just be okay with the status quo. It's not. I want something original and different and fun and unique. And I've said this multiple times as I've played this game. When I think Elder Scrolls, I think, oh, the fantasy aspect of it. Magic and sword play. And, you know, the dark elf, uh, uh, plot, the Daedra and the other races, right? And the unique locations and all the lore of everything in Elder Scrolls. It's super unique. And then you think about Fallout. Oh, He's trying so hard. The apo the apocalyptic. So hard to make a point. With an old timey feel. And let me guess. When we think of Starfield, we have nothing. When we think of Starfield, we have space. Maybe. 
Maybe being in space is part of it. Old tech, but it's kind of futuristic. You got Flying a ship, if you will. Traveling through different caps. planets. You got the little, uh... Oh, I don't have it out right now. Look how much he exaggerating this shit. All of that, right? All that stuff that's synonymous and epic with that universe. And you're like, wow, that's cool. With Starfield, because they copied those previous games to make this one, it doesn't feel like anything stands out and is unique at all. Like, what do I really... What do you... You have chunks food? Wow, I can't wait to eat some chunks today. You know what I mean? Like, there's nothing you can even think of that's unique or interesting about this, this universe. It just exists. It's fine. There, let me put it this way. There's nothing about Starfield that screams, this game is an unfinished mess, this game sucks. But it's also just not good. It's not? It's just kind of meh. It's there for those who want to sit down uh -huh. and invest countless hours into a universe, a self-regenerating universe, right? That's exactly the purpose this game serves. But if you're looking for something unique, something that's a standout, something that's fun, that feels fresh, original, new, different, and something that you're going to remember and it's going to resonate, none of those boxes get checked by Starfield for me. Not a single one. And then on top of that, on console, the game runs poorly. It has choppy frame rate, it crashes, the gunplay is boring and repetitive and doesn't even feel as good as the combat of either Elder Scrolls or Fallout. So it kind of <clears throat> fails on so many levels. It's their new IP, and it's actually the most boring of all of their IPs. I would much rather go play Elder Scrolls or Fallout or any version of those games that I've already played than play more Starfield. People were begging me to stop playing this game. because I thought he listened to his community, first of all. Uh, second of all, I would rather go and play shit that I already like and I already have nostalgic feelings for over playing the new game that's, you know, new. Well, Bethesda's going in the right direction. Because they were so bored. Yet, people want to see me go replay Fallout 3 or Fallout they do. 4 they or do. another Elder Scrolls game. They do. So that speaks volumes all right <clears throat> i hate to say it this was supposed to be make or break for bethesda they dropped the ball this game is a humongous disappointment after the all the hundreds of hours of enjoyment that i've gotten in bethesda rpgs this was the least enjoyable experience the most boring experience the most tedious experience and now that i've played 45 hours and seen the ending i actually wish i never played the game I'm serious about that too. I wish I was playing a different Bethesda game instead of Starfield. That's how disappointing it is to me. So they really screwed up and I don't know how they're going to recover because they were banking on this and they really screwed it up. You know what I mean? Like I have zero desires to continue. They made an engine that, oh, the whole idea is to make you want to keep replaying the game over and over. I literally don't ever want to play this again. I don't see the point. There's nothing interesting about this game. You know what I'm saying? So, I would much... I, next game for Bethesda, I'd love to replay Fallout 3 or Fallout 4. Oh, maybe play an Elder Scrolls I never played before. I'm not playing this again. I'm not doing a new play game. Play Daggerfall. I don't, I'm not wasting my time. I'd much rather do anything else. You know? <laughs> you could play Daggerfall so, on a mini PC. I don't know you could play Daggerfall happen, for free. But, I feel like... I mean, the thing is, they're safe. They're owned by Microsoft now. They're not going anywhere. But man, you got a problem with that? To be make or break to prove that they still have the chops after the. You want them to lose their job so you can pretend to feel bad for them? Fallout 76 being a broken mess and being junk, and now they come out with this, and this is just an epic fail. Um, 45 oh, hours in, so like I rushed through it. 45 hours invested, and uh, nah, he I rushed my through. 45 hours back. Sadly, in life, you he can't definitely get rushed through. That, right. So, I guess we'll see. What does Slayer think about this? I can't wait to hear Slayer's opinion when he show up on a random night stream a month from now. To everyone. Why? Because, you know, 45 hours invested. We could have been doing different stuff. We could have been enjoying different games. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> and I like that he says this. He's the one that's in control of this. He could have dropped this game and just said, shut up, don't ask for it because nobody liked it when I played it. I didn't like it. The gaming community didn't like it. Could have been quit this game, but he's pretending like he give a fuck because he he spent forty hours playing already. Uh, I'm sorry, but you played uh, what was it? Divin Divinity Two. He played Divinity Two like sixty hours and wage quit it, and he made more money playing Divinity Two too. So fuck that. Everyone. 
Why? Because, you know... Because of that stupid Divinity playthrough, I'm always going to be able to bring it up. Every time he complained about spending too much time on a game so he have to finish it, I'm going to be like, yeah, remember when you spent 60, 60 hours on a game and, and just kind of dropped it? 45 hours invested. We could have been doing stand. different stuff. We could have been enjoying different games. See, you know what? Game? He's going to play Baldur's Gate 3 eventually. Yeah. Everybody's favorite game to name drop. He's going to play Baldur's Gate 3 eventually, and he's going to get 70 hours into that one and then rage quit um <clears throat> and that's sad so i have a new game to bring up big thing i started this in we took yeah, you remember the baldur's gate 3 playthrough he fucking rage quit with starfield and we he rage quit other stuff hell we other stuff of this year listen to this starfield. shit this is why i rewind it could have been doing other stuff hell we could have just been playing other bethesda games you know how am i supposed to feel about that and that's disappointing to invest that much time into a game like dude i could have been doing anything else a lot of people are so upset with me I didn't play Baldur's Gate 3. We could have been playing Baldur's Gate 3 instead of Starfield. Hey, there you go. We brought it up. Hearing, we it's probably would have liked it a heck of a lot more. And so anyway, I do want to say to everyone who's watched this long and saw the whole playthrough, thank you for that. I appreciate man, you man, being man. in there. We're never going to not talk about that game. Man, the second half of the game did. You know, and boring. I kind of hope he never played Baldur's Gate 3, and I hope it somehow stays relevant in his community. Because it's been doing it. It's still doing it. And I think it might be getting to the point where maybe it's like a half troll reference and a half genuine. I don't know. This fucking game. And then We're never going to not talk about it. This whole multiverse plot line. Baldur's Gate 3. Okay, I'm going to end it saying this. Because this is, this is my final thing to say about this. Pay attention. Pay attention. Okay. They won't shut up now. So I'm just going to do this so they'll shut up. Okay. In a multiverse, the reason that multiverses work, all right, is very simple. Because you've seen so much of the one universe that you're used to that it's cool to see it cross over with something different. I'll give you an example. In DC Comics, there were different eras well, of Well, that's comics. just kind of your opinion, man. Age, uh, Su Superman, he couldn't even fly, all right? He could jump really far. Then there was the Silver Age Superman, where the character was redesigned and retooled and changed. Then there's the modern day Superman. And when they did Crisis on Infinite Earths, the reason it worked is because they had an established Superman that- DSP, I'm gonna be honest with you, G. I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. I don't read comic books. I don't watch movies based on comic books. And guess what? He don't really talk about comic books on his stream. I ain't never hear him talk about what he talking about right now. And we all supposed to know about it? Uh, that's why I'm the king of hate. Everyone knew and loved, oh but now you were about to knock everything over. Cross over into that other was universes, be a punishment. Into interactions right. with the others. How would they interact? How will they fight? Will they team up against a common enemy? <clears throat> why right now? I had a drink in a suspicious all of the, place. Across the Spider Verse movies, or the Spider Verse movies, doing well because we all love Spider Man. We've seen different iterations. Now we have we all Peter love Spider -Man. Spider Man, the Miles Morales Spider Man. We like them all, and to see them we all do. interact, we all with love them. Plot lines in those movies, it works, right? We had the multiverse in the Marvel movies. Why did it work? Because we had 20, 30 movies already, and now to see different versions of the characters cross over. This is Starfield One. This is not Starfield 2, 3, 5, 10. This is Starfield 1. We barely even know the characters in the game. We barely even get to care about yes. them. And now Welcome they're expecting to me to care for the Cooper fact that they're dying, but then there's other multiverse versions of them and they're all crossing over. They jumped so far ahead with the plot. Like, this plot would have worked. The multiverse plot would have had an impact and worked if this was like Starfield 3 and Barrett has been with us for all these well, times. Well, what should they have done in this game, West, though? He's like your buddy, right? He's your best friend, your buddy. And then all of a sudden he dies at the end of Starfield 3. Ah, but now the plot is that there's a multiverse and there's other bears. Now I like that it's only meaningful for this dude to die if he's been around for 15 games. Did he not care when the character died in Final Fantasy 7? I'm not going to say who it is, so I don't spoil, obviously. But did he not care when that character died? It was the only Final Fantasy VII. It wasn't 17 games before then. Uh, this is a... It's like... You did. You just didn't care. It don't matter what they did. You didn't care now about the characters. Impact, right? But the fact that the way that they tended us... Don't to try to make it seem like they did a bad job of making you care. Of their universe, you wouldn't have cared and anyway. literally, when they make it a multiverse plot line like that, nothing matters anymore. Yeah, if they made now, three games over the course of 20 like years, of gameplay, then he would have cared, it right? Because it all resets anyway. Sure. So it gives a shit what you did. Sure. They screwed up. 
Multiverses work, but not in a first iteration of anything. Whether it's a show, a movie, a, a video game, you have to have multiverses yeah. be meaningful. He cared about Pigeon Guy in Spider-Man 2, and that dude don't even have a fucking name. Why he cared about that? Why was that meaningful? Why was that why was that enough to cry about in real life? Like real tears on his face in real life. Because it made him think of something in real life? Like in in the human world? And, and people will care. This will Barrett dying should have like made him think about T. And, and then he would have cried. So I'm sorry. Starfield is a giant disappointment. It's a huge fail for Bethesda. And it's actually my least favorite Bethesda RPG I have ever played. That's my opinion. I thank you all for tuning in, watching this. My opinion is that Drawn Frogger is great. And it just rated the stream. Everybody, make sure to follow twitch.tv forward slash Drawn Frogger. Thank you. They just rated my stream. I'll see you soon. And they're getting a shout out right now. All right. I'm done. I'm done with this crap. Did we save, by the way? Let's just save. And uh, let's bid Starfield adieu because I am done with this stinker. Your fucking pronouns. This be complain about pronouns and you'll get popular. Game, man, like they fucked it up. Your reign so wasn't good enough. The further you get in, the more you start realizing, oh shit, I really fucked up. I've wasted my time with this, right? <clears throat> All right, guys, it's time for me to go on break and eat. I'll be back tonight, 6:45 p.m. Pacific time. All right. And on the late stream, it will be like a Dragon Gaiden. It'll be a chill stream of us just interacting and relaxing and enjoying the game. I'm not here tomorrow. When I come back on Friday, it'll be Super Mario RPG like we were supposed to do today. And it will be the first ever ranked session of Dalsim in Street Fighter VI. So I hope you'll join me for that. Uh, there will also be more Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer on Saturday. And Saturday night will be more like a Dragon. Yo, he privated that shit already. He privated it already. And yeah, he finished it. We're never going to see Starfield again on his stream. And his review, whatever he's calling a review, like, don't don't take my word for it because I'm just some hater. But that shit was trash, bro. He forced himself to beat a game so he could do that? So he could do that? He's had better rants talking about poo. He's had better rants talking about dudes licking his asshole. <laughs> In conclusion, it wasn't meaningful. You don't say anything's meaningful, except yourself. Attention. Attention. I have an announcement. What a fucking Bethesda. This guy's a Bethesda. We gotta make Bethesda a slur. Calling people Bethesdas. He was right. Big ups again, John Frogger for the raid. I will take a shot in solidarity of uh, drawn frogs and drawn frog like people. I got a new bottle of Fireball today. You thought it was a good review. Maybe I shouldn't take a shot for you now. You were right. You know, I never listened to his pre stream from another day. So now I will. The uh, suggestion box. Yeah, hopefully Jade okay. After all of the lights. Own your shit. Own your shit. Own it. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors. They were right. Bitch. Oh shit, this is gonna be glitched. They were right. Bitch. Holy shit, Phil. Do you hear yourself right now? They were right. Like we totally fucked up. You're still on mission one. No, I'm not gonna let you lie. I know you're lying. I'm gonna pick on you. I know you're lying. Being dishonest. All right, I'll be back later. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was this stream. 
he is not a Frontiers real of Pandora or something like that. He's not so like those he are the next honest. two for me. He's a scammer. Uh, after I beat something and I have room in the schedule. Mm, it's hard to tell. Like I don't want to go to his channel and pull it up. One for members. Right. One for. I know what I can do. Holy shit, Phil. You're the tractors. tractors. They were right. Overwatch 2 Season 8 Call of the Hunt official trailer. Like we totally fucked him. How fucking dare you? Alright, I'm done. I, I, I'm done. I understand everything now. I know why there's this. Nick came up. And it's been on him for years. It's because of this bullshit. Chocolate starfish! <laughs> They do have the meerkat mob part at the end. I hear it on his stream, on his stream so much, I don't know if the clips are actually there, if he just play them. This 7 look like a backwards F. Whoa, that ain't a 7. What fucked up fun is that? Hold on, I gotta get rid of a thing in OBS anyway. That font's fucked up. Fuck that font. Nah, that's bullshit. However, nah, they should have got a different font for this one. Like, if a 7 looks that bad, I wouldn't even use the font for anything. Genuinely, I wouldn't even use it. That is the fakest 7 I've ever seen in my life, and I looked at a lot of fonts in my life. What the fuck? I'm like mesmerized at that being a 7. That is not a 7. It's like a logo for a Call of Duty team, man. Huh. Uh, suggestion box. Okay, he got that weird little thing on. There we go. It's right then. All right. Time to take a shot, and I'm going to find some kind of game to play. Maybe on Steam. Again, we're taking a shot uh, for the Drawn Frog Raid. Uh, for suffering through everything and because I got a new a new fireball bottle. The weakest but spiciest drink known to man. Okay, maybe not the spiciest. Can we get some almighty vibes in the chat? Some uh, LFGs? Some uh, take a sips, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You better take a sip. You better take a sip. You better take a sip. We dedicate this shot to the drawn ones, uh, holding it down, taking sips worldwide. You better take a sip. This goes out to you and everybody else. You're a fucking degenerate. Oh yeah. We also dedicated to the degener degenerates. Seven six five four three two one. Let's find out. Pretty good. Drake, what would you give DSP's pre-stream? If you made a detractor video, what would you call it about DSP's pre-stream today? I need your feedback. It's extremely 